All right, y'all, check this out, man. Uh, this your boy ZTR here, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Okay, and I want this to be this is gonna be Brayton Rush a learning moment. All right, because I'm not here to play games. No, I'm not here to start beef. But young man, you can even see what you're doing is wrong. Dude. You you everything you doing doesn't make an ounce of sense. And it's obvious as you sound like a hater. Okay, from your videos. Because you're somebody that's trying to make money off scrutinizing the NFL. Because you really don't know what you're doing. You don't realize what's actually going on. You're making things up. You're making up things that's not true. Okay? And you want to get mad at me because I'm exposing your arm. Um, I'm exposing all your lies. Because you, you're coming off of somebody that's very angry. Okay? You won't. First of all, do, do a video, a response video, instead of you trying to write all this. Okay? Because you trying to say my the videos I said about you is misleading. Everything you doing is misleading. Okay? Young man. So this is what I'm trying to do. Is I'm not trying to start no beef with you. Right? I'm not trying to I'm not trying to hail on you. I done seen this happen already. Okay? What you doing, I've seen it went down before. In 2016, you can scroll on my channel and look at or look at my very first video on my channel. In 2016, there's at least five other channels that did exactly what you're doing. Okay? Your whole channel is based on scrutinizing the NFL. You trying to say this ripped and scripted. It was five other channels that did the same, exact same thing. They had the Colts and the Vikings in the Super Bowl. Now, Zachary K. Zachary K. Hubbard had the Colts and the Cowboys, and he switched to the Vikings. Okay? Like he always does with that gematria that doesn't work, and I proved that. There was five channels. Zachary K. Hubbard, RMG the Chosen One. You had Cut Cash Productions, Bobby Brazar, and then there was Warrior Truth. Five of them. They all had the same thing. None of the teams they said that was going to go to the Super actually went. Then when playoff time come, most of them switched to the Steelers. They said the Steelers, it was going to be Steelers and the Falcons because they hate New England so much. That failed. Okay? So then when I made my video, they all that video got over 2K of views. Okay? I had to explain to people why you lost your money. They were all gambling. Just like you were doing, right? Now, I'm, I'm going to cover everything you said right about me is, is false. Okay? And, I, and I, got, I got evidence to back it up. All right? Because this this needs to be said, dude. Like you, bro, something is seriously wrong with you, man. And you say you played high school. Let's let's cover everything you said wrong. For one, let's do this right. It says number one, I do not get paid off my videos. They are copyrighted, right? Okay, so you say you don't get paid off your videos. Well, let's look at this. I should definitely listen to the whole thing. This is the White Smith, former Super Bowl champion, got two pick sixes in the Super Bowl. This is this guy talking about pretty much everything that I've stated on my, my channel. And it means a lot more when someone who actually played in the game and was successful in the game states how predetermined, um, you know, all of that that these games are. And speaking about these games being predetermined, I am starting a Patreon. On this Patreon, I will be posting... Sports picks for y'all to bet on. Now, you just said bet on, bro. You trying to make money. Okay, so why would you tell that lie, dude? Okay, you just mad because now I'm exposing your hustle. All right? I want your people, your fan base, I want I want these 1K of people, these likes to see what you're doing, dude. Because if anybody picks, picks money into your own um, Patreon, they a lie. They a fool. Okay? For one, let's look at your Patreon, right? Because for one, look, you're using the NFL license for one, dude. You want you create your own license, create your own logo. Why are you using the NFL logo, dude? Like, come on now. You are using them to try to make money, dude. Like, you you getting ready to take a whole lot of people's record. You getting ready to take a whole lot of people's money, because every game is not predetermined at all, right? Again, bro, like you can you can actually lose. This is not invest because from betting, bro, you could lose more money than you gain. Okay, I'm not fooled, but I'm not. I'm not going by none of this. Most of this stuff can actually be false. Okay, most of the stuff can just be lies. You're telling, bro. Like you're trying to make things up. All right, you're not, bro. You you need you need to stop, dude. So you saying you trying to save your money, but you use the NFL to try to make money. Like you just said, bro. And I'm I'm gonna talk about the white smith too in a little bit, cause this dude just made a clown of himself in front of two Caucasian men on radio, dude. It's sad. But bro, so right there, you're trying to make money, dude. Look, for $5 a month, right? So you're making money now, so stop lying. This is already lie. You're making money. Now, as far as copyright material, bro, you got to understand this. The NFL is a very powerful organization.
Because when the chickens come home to roost, and especially if they're having a bad day and they see you got this content, you get your whole entire channel taken down and flagged. I've seen it done before. Okay, because Zachary K. Hubbard has had at least four of his channels taken down doing what you're doing. RG the Chosen One just now had his channel taken down. And people are mad at me because I ex exposed what I said was going to happen years ago when me and him first started beefing. Okay? So let's get that out the way now. I'm not hating, but bro, you over here scamming people. Okay? Because if you're going to talk about the NFL as rigging Peter Turner, you shouldn't be betting, period. Because what you going to say if you lose? All right? That's what I'm saying. What you going to say if you lose? All right, like I said, look at all, all this is trying to go against, basically, bro, you're trying to go against the NFL. You're trying to scrutinize them, right? So don't don't say you're not trying to make money while I just see you out here trying to make bets. Look, look at the easy money, right? You're making money off the internet, dude. So that's that's already a lie there. Now, you say you've been to multiple NFL, NBA, ML, MLB, MLB games, right? So you've been to multiple Major League Baseball and National Basketball games, right? But where are your videos on the NBA, huh? Why is it just football you're talking about? You know say Where's the NBA videos? Where's the Major League Baseball videos? I don't see none of that there. So that means the NBA and Major League Baseball must not be rigged or scripted in either, right? You can't prove it. So stop right there, dude. Because if you went to most of these games, dude, you wouldn't be making none of these videos. You'll have respect for the athletes that you'd have paid money to go see. Okay? That, that, this is what I'm saying. Look at this, dude. Where, where's, where's, I don't see a single basketball game on here. Dude, so this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, you're somebody, and you don't even show your face at all. You must got something to hide, dude. Again, for people watch this video, never trust somebody that ain't going to even show their face. Yeah, you want to use the NFL to scrutinize them and make money off of them. And you don't even show your face, dude. Now, Lobo, who's um video, I'm, I'm about to, um, this, and Lobo, I'm going to get to him, too. Because he's in on this, too, man. Y'all both in on this together. But come on now, dude. Like, bro, like, you're making, you're trying to make money. You're trying to hustle. Right, and this shows, dude, you pissed off at me, and you won't do a response video on me neither, dude. Won't you do a video instead of writing all this down, dude? But let's cover that, right? So you said multiple NFL, NBA, MLB games, right? You, all right, so if you played football in high school, these same athletes also played football in high school, just like you did. They worked their way up, they got scholarships, or some of them walked on, but they got scholarships, bro. And then they worked hard throughout universities. Now, some of them decide to take their route and get drafted, while others... Basically stayed all four years. But most of them don't want to be in no scripted league. Most of them don't want to be in no rig. Most, you know how many referees have gotten fired in the last 20 years because they weren't calling it right at all because these players complain about it? Again, this is why a lot of black players, a majority of black uh, athletes don't do, don't do WWE. They don't do wrestling because they know it's scripted. Versus somebody like Big E Langston, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, Farouk, and uh, D'Lo Brown and Godfather, right? Or even The Rock Johnson, who was born into it. Most black athletes ain't doing no WWE. They don't want to do no wrestling because it's fake. They know Major League Baseball, right? The NFL and NBA, that's not scripted or rigged. You can't script those games. Okay? Only somebody that's at home watching it from the safety of his house is not going to say that. Now, you say you've been to games, right? That means you see these guys practice. They're not rehearsing at all. They're going over a playbook, brother. This is what you got to understand. These All these athletes from Joe Flacco, everybody, right? Have all played in high school just like you did. Okay, they went through the same thing except they kept going. They pursued it. They were good enough to go to the higher level. You didn't. So you don't understand what these guys are doing every week. You don't understand the training. Right, you don't understand how hard these players got to work. Because it's work. Ain't nobody just going to hand over no Super Bowl trophy. A $50 million trophy. Big old a silver $50 million trophy. They're not going to just hand that out. This is a competition. Somebody going to have to lose. Okay. So let's get that out the way now. Since you trying to say the game, you try to say you're not making money, dude. But come on now. You say you play high school football. You understand these people play too. Like Aaron Donald, he played as well. But to me, I find it odd that you you say you play high school football, but yet you know what's going on. Now, you say I'm missing the point of the video. I'm not exposing the rehearsal. Once again, dude, of course they are, they rehearse everything on TV so it won't be progressional. Again, I'm not even talking about this at all. I told you, I... These four players ain't got nothing to do with them, with those two at all. Again, I'm talking about you disrespecting these athletes with your video, going at the NFL like a hater, dude. That's what I'm. That's why I'm doing this video on you, cause you sound like somebody who's mad you lost money, and now you're trying to get mad at them, trying to take your anger out on them. You said what you're supposed to analysts telling each other what opinion to have. These analysts do not on TV do not share their real opinions. Simply put out narratives, told to put out no, they don't. That's their real opinions. 
These some of these people are like this man been around for years, dude. This is why you have ex athletes like Terry Bradshaw and Michael Strahan because they played the game. So of course they have their real opinions. They got to they have to do their research. They have to do their homework, sir. Okay. When I worked at the Queen Mary Hotel, I talked to other analysts. Do I talked to many other athletes? Okay. Stop making up a false reality that ain't even true. You're making things up, dude, just so you can get attention. That's why you're doing these videos, because this is an easy way for you to get attention. Just like everybody else. You're trying to follow along with the crowd. Then when somebody from the NFL actually do see your videos, they tell YouTube to flag you and shut you down, then what you going to do? Okay? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you, you, you making things up. You making them out to be something they really ain't. Okay? And if I, you say, you are applying... This is for you saying to me, you are implying that me saying the NFL script is disrespectful to the players, and I am dumb as hell because I believe this. I have many quotes, but I will give you three for foreign players and myself because the truth. All right. Let me, let me show you what I mean by disrespectful, brother. Okay. Let's look at this. What's good, y'all? It's been a little while. I hope all of you are doing well. But the rig and scripted NFL content will never stop over here. This play is just a quick laughable example of how much of a joke the nfl is um yeah so today is NFL. you say a joke in nfl you're a joke because you're getting ready to lose a whole lot of people is getting ready to lose money behind you okay again you don't know what you don't understand the game of football professional football because you never made it to that level okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the former athletes because the former athletes that saying the game is talking against the game they, they sound like haters right i'm getting ready to cover them too because it's ridiculous. NFL Sunday, and I just want to say that the Buccaneers improved to 8-3, and three, which will be Tom Brady's Super Bowl record when he retires. The dude ain't winning no more Super Bowls. And I'm going to go out and say this too. Tom Brady is going to stop at 7. Somebody this year is going to beat Tom Brady. He's not going no further than that. Okay? Because the way the Cowboys are playing in Arizona, the way the Cardinals are looking, and I told everybody on my video last year, you can look on my channel, I said that the Cardinals was going to be the surprise team. Okay, Kyler Murray continues to get better and better. Now I feel sorry for J.J. Watt, but they look—they they have DeAndre Hopkins, Larry Fitzgerald, and you have A.J. Green on the same team on the same offense with James Conner. Brother, they, that team is ready to go. That team could actually beat the Buccaneers. So can the Rams. Okay, even though I don't trust Matt Stafford as the starting quarterback, Jared Goff is better than Matt Stafford. They can beat the Rams because they have the deep. They have the, they, the Rams can beat the Buccaneers because they have the defense. Okay. And even Green Bay. Green Bay's not going to lose to the Buccaneers a second year in a row. That's just not going to happen. Tom Brady's Super Bowl victories ends with number seven. All right? I'm going to challenge your... I'm going to debate you right now and call you off for being a liar. This has nothing to do with this video, but it happens to be NFL. Yeah, it does because you're trying to make money. You want people to bet on the Buccaneers so you can bet against them. I'm going to expose the whole trap right here. Folks, if you're watching this video, this guy wants you to bet on the Buccaneers so he can bet against them. Okay? Tom Brady is 44 years old. For one, let's look at the Buccaneers' record. Let's look at Tampa Bay. Let's look, let's look at this record real quick, dude. Okay? Okay, the 83 right now, right? You're going against 5 and 6. Look at this. Let's look at the schedule. All right, the Bills, because Bills is not going to be easy. Right? Let's look at their schedule, right? For one, let's look at the team they beaten already, right? Okay, they beat Atlanta. Atlanta's good. The Cowboys, they barely won. Of course, the Texans is trash, but look at the Rams. 34-24, right? That's going to be a problem in the playoffs. They're going to have to see the Rams again. The Rams is coming after them. They, got the, they proved they got the defense to stop them, right? Look, Bears, these teams, they have a rookie quarterback. Dolphins is not as strong as they should be, right? Look at Eagles. They barely beat them on a touchdown. Okay, of course, you're going to beat the Saints. They're without Jameis Winston. Look, look, look at the schedule, right? It's only going to get harder. Bills, the Bills can beat this team. This is not going to be easy. The Bills can beat them, right? Bills are going to give them a problem. Look at their schedule, right? They got an easy schedule now, but come playoff time, it's going to be much harder. You got Carters, you got the Packers, the Cowboys. The Cowboys definitely want to face this team again. Dallas would love to have the opportunity to face Tom Brady in the first round. If the Cowboys face Tom Brady, they're going to lose. And I'm a Cowboys fan, but I can honestly say, bro, this score, this score right here in the first, like this score here was close. Again, Goodwin got away with that offensive, uh, the offensive pass of because the referees probably didn't see it. And even then, the Cowboys kicker missed two field goals. Is what cost us that game. So I'm not blaming the referees. I'll put that on the players. Our kickers, Zerliner, missed two field goals. Okay? 
but they better watch out for the Cowboys. Okay? The Green Bay Packers is looking for revenge. Green Bay ain't going down, ain't going nowhere. And they ain't, they're not going to go down that easy. Okay? I'm letting you know that right now, sir. You finna lose. A whole lot of people is giving lose money. If y'all bet for the Buccaneers, you're going to lose your money. There's no way they're going to let Brady. Brady's not going to do what he did last year. That's just not going to happen. This is not the AFC. This is NFC. It's competition. They're not even playing hard teams anyway, dude. Like, most of these teams are not hard. Look at the red. Look now. This is a Washington football team that don't got no good quarterback. How did they lose to the? How did they lose to the Washington, the Washington football team? Right. See, brother, you don't watch all these games. You want to sit here and lie. Now, what? This is the same Washington team that almost beat them last year. Did we not see that? Let's let's let's, let's go look at this play. Let's see how the Washington football team beat them. They had to beat this team with a field goal last year, because Washington has the defensive line to stop them. Right. Empty set. Plenty of time for Heineke. Good protection. Look at that. Shot off to Terry McLaurin, and he's about a half a yard shy of the sticks. This is the same football team that they fired. They let go of Dwayne Haskins, right? Alex Smith was hurt, and they did it with a third string. I think, I think this guy might have played, but they did it with a third string quarterback, and almost beat the Buccaneers in the first round, right? The Buccaneers was in a wild card. Hey, ready? Fresh set of downs from the plus three. He lost. Heineke. They lost to a team with no with no official name. Nice throw. And he's got a first down to DeAndre Carter. But his first NFL touchdown reception see. against Denver a couple of weeks ago. Into a third and manageable. Let's look at this, man, because they again this game exposes Tampa Bay. Okay, they got an easy schedule. And when playoff time comes, it's gonna be very hard. Third and fourteen. Winfield came on the blitz. They throw it out wide to McKissick. He let me let me see if you got a defensive arm. Um, let me see something, dude. Let me see something. Let me see if they made a play defensively. Let me see something. Let me see something. As good a job as anybody at that. Heineke, pocket collapsing and in Look at 16 to 6, right? Look at that scoreboard. Face mask. Defense. Number 31. They got press covers on the outside. Brady finds a man in the middle and Godwin. Look at that, he's struggling. Down. Look at that, 16-3, bro. Shy of midfield. And this is a this is a team that's 2-6. and six. They all be ashamed of themselves. But look Brady at that. Has to throw quick. Look at that pressure. This is how you beat Tom Brady. You got to have the defensive line to stop him. But this is what you're not going to tell your people. He's not going to tell you none of this. Okay, he want to say it's scripted. This game was not scripted at all. The Buccaneers was not trying to lose to a team that's 2-6. and six. But this happens in football, okay? It's all about matchups in this league. Let's look at this again. Look at this pass rush. Brady, the right defensive line will interrupt Brady. To get to Tom Brady, you got to interrupt his his flow. You can't give him more. You can't give him more than four seconds in that pocket. Look at that. be right there to make a play on Mike Adams. So two seconds. So young man, I'm trying to show you something right now. This is a learning. This is a learning curve. Because you can't say the league is scripted rigged when things don't go your way. You sound like somebody has been losing money, and now you're trying to get payback on the league because you're mad that you've been taking L's. It sounds like you've been taking L's the last four or five years. It's the play. Tom Brady has never. Matter of fact, who took the Washington football team in this uh, in this game? Because he's he not talking about this at all. There's a team right now that's going to be going into the playoffs to have a defensive line like Washington that he's not going to tell you at all. Why? Because he don't want you to know that secret. Again, he's setting you up for a trap. If you take the Buccaneers in the playoffs, there's a chance you're going to lose either the first or the second round. Converted on a Hail Mary. He's also never thrown three interceptions in a half. Has two of them today. They go short with Evans. Want to stay on his feet, but the clock will wind down. For the end of the half, oh, but first we have a penalty, which would keep the half extended if it's a... Look at that, man. Look at that struggling, right? Let's see what happens later on. Look at that, 23-13. Look what's happening, dude. The Buccaneers are getting there by getting there behind. Look. Look at that defensive line. Look at that rush. Look at that, bro. Again, I play football. I'm a DB. Okay, defense wins championships. Yes, the Buccaneers had a, a defense last year, but they could have just easily lost to this team. They can't beat the, this Washington football team. Look at this defensive Play line. Again, y'all, this young man, rigging it for breakdowns, is not going to tell you these type of games at all. He's not going to show you this because he's not that in deep with the game. This young man is trying to make things up to make himself look good, okay? 
The game can't not be scripted like this. It's hard. It, this is impossible, dude. Come on now. The Buccaneers did not want to lose to this, a 2-16. and 16. Because when you lose to teams like this, there's teams, the other team you got to play the following week, they got game film on you now. Okay? There are teams, opponents, that have to play against Tom Brady that's going to watch this game film. Okay? That's going to make proper adjustments. And guess what happened? They're going to try to run the same defense. It's Brady in the... To say your script is not fair to Washington who worked hard to beat this team. They prepared for Tom Brady this week. They had a game plan for him like they did last year. They have the same defense. Okay? So I want you to understand that, sir. All right? This is why if you you can't say your script and rig and you betting money. Okay? Because you're setting yourself up for failure. Okay? You're going to lose because, again, most of the time you're going to lose. More though than you win. You're not going to win most of these games. You can't be winning all these games. You you're not making thousands of dollars. You you're not making thousands. I I I I'll call BS on that. Pressure. Shaka Tony. Look at that, look at that score, bro. Twenty three to thirteen. The rookie out of Penn State. He has been very sharp. Heineke down the middle for McClure. Look at that. Where was the defense on that play? And makes the catch near the forty yard line. In front Again, none of this is scripted at all. None. Washington is a horrible team, dude. Like, come on now. They got low ratings. Nobody is going to script this. Uh, this game is not worth scripting at all. Because the Buccaneers were projected to win this game. Everybody had the Buccaneers beating this Washington football team. Okay? Because they thought the Buccaneers would be ready to go after this team after what happened last year. But Washington was ready for revenge. Jamel Dean will pick up 21 years. Again, bro, it's any given Sunday. Anybody can lose at any time. That's another thing he's not going to tell you. Anybody can lose at any time. It's all about game plan. It's all about strategy. Football is like a game of chess. It's all about outplaying your opponent. Yards to the 39. You got to outplay your opponent's these games. Again, you can't say it's scripted. This this game has not possibly scripted. You felt that you saw that over the course of that afternoon. Third down and nine underneath. This is Dax Mill. He lost the football. Now that was a clean hit. People do fumble, sir. That wasn't acting. The man don't want to act unless somebody hit him and force him to fumble the football. That don't make an ounce of sense. A wrestle for it near the 50. There he goes. Touchdown, Mike Evans. Heineke on the slant for McLaurin. Who takes plays. the hit. Heineke making plays. That's the first down. So I want to show you how they lost. Because I guarantee you in the playoffs, a team like Arizona, they're going to bring the heat. They coming after Brady now. They're gonna have a, Bruce Aaron, like whoever the like uh the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. They gonna have they gonna be coming for Bruce Aaron's or oh, they got a game plan. They got they gonna have a real strategy. I can guarantee you that now. Colin Murray now they coming. Third and goal. It's Gibson. Oh, what a play by Whitehead. He grabbed Gibson and prevented him from getting into the end zone. Well, let's look again. How did he score? Gibson. Everybody else rallied. Let's look at this. We're going to see how they scored. Now, this is the Buccaneers defense getting scored on. This is not scripted or rigged at all. Why does somebody want to rig it for a 2-16? and 16? If you're 6-2, and two, you should be able to beat this team. There's no excuses. And that's another thing, y'all. Y'all need, need to start putting the blame on the players. Stop blaming the referees. Stop blaming on a script that don't exist. Put the blame on the players themselves. They're the ones out here that got to score. They're the ones out here that got that, that to tackle the opponent. Okay, you never want to put the blame on the players at all. That says a lot about yourself. But of course, Rick and for breakdowns, you're not going to do that at all. Why? Because you're over here trying to scam somebody. You're over here trolling. You're that desperate for attention and views. 19th play of the drive. Is that Look at that. They played the wrong defense. This dude just scored on them, dude. Wrong defense. The game away. They were never going up the middle at all. That was a good, that was an offensive play. Right, let's look at that formation again. We're going to see this again. Right? They chose the wrong gap. Getting into the end zone, and everybody else rallied. Look at this formation. They did not see the outside at all. That was on the linebacker. They did not cover it all. He told him to go left. Fake like you're going right, but you're going really going left. Look at this. Look how he makes plays. 19th play of the drive. Look at that. Perfect offense. If I do say so myself. But let's continue. So Sunday, and when Tom Brady improved at that record, that was bound to happen because it's all scripted. It's all in the. 
If it's scripted, then why hasn't Tom Brady got 10 Super Bowls? Why is he not undefeated? Tom Brady should be 10-0 and in Super Bowls. He's not because it's not scripted. The Giants beat him twice off a 9-7 record, bro. And then the Eagles. That's another. I'm going to get to them too because, once again, bro, this is complete disrespect. To say it's scripted, bro, is disrespectful to the teams that actually beat him and earn those wins, right? Tom Coughlin and Doug Peterson, as coaches, they have to earn those wins, okay? Books so right before it happens, and yeah, so I'm just... right before it happens. What, 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 what are you gonna say if you lose? But you could just easily lose, right? Because if you lose, don't blame it on the script. Saying right now, like he will win another Super Bowl before he retires. The NHL team from Tampa Bay, the Lightning, they also started out their season eight and three. For one, what does the NHL have to do with the NFL? Okay, that's two completely different sports. Leave the Lightning out of it, right? They ain't got nothing to do. With them, because if that's the case, why didn't the, the uh, why didn't the Miami Heat beat the Los Angeles Lakers in that bubble? If it's really scripted, right? If it's really scripted, shouldn't the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Buccaneers, and the Miami Heat have won a championship if it was really scripted? That ain't the case. The Buccaneers, the Miami Heat was just they was they was beat up. They had injuries, right? Gorson, Goran Dragic didn't even play for most of those games. They was never gonna beat that Laker team. It's not scripted. And you'll see eight and three a lot because that is a very uh, significant number. All right, you say we're gonna see eight and three a lot, right? Let's look at these records. Again, let's let's look at these records, dude. Look at that eight and four. There's no eight and three in that division. Let's look at these records, right? Seven and four. Okay, the Ravens have eight and three, but again, they lost three games. Titans eight and four. All right, so th that's only it's only two teams. It's on two teams in ASC with eight and three. Everybody else got seven again, seven and four, right? Look, look, look at the um, look at the week we in. I think we what was week we in week right thirteen. So of course they're gonna have eight and three. And this is this is Lamar Jackson doing with max injuries. Okay, there's no excuses for him. Again, there's no there's, this game is not scripted at all. Because this game was really scripted, the Ravens would have been in the Super Bowl by now. Baltimore and New Orleans would have played each other two years ago when Lamar was the MVP. Remember, Lamar got the MVP like Mahomes did, except Lamar got bounced out by the Tennessee Titans. Let's look at the NFC, right? Eight and four. Cardinals, nine and two. Packers, nine and three. There's only one team on the NFC that's eight and three. There's only three teams that's eight and three. Everybody else got four losses or two losses. Sir, look at this. You don't know what the you don't know what you're talking about, dude. Stop lying. Again, stop lying. Stop making things up. You're making yourself look stupid. See, I'm somebody who's going to look at what you're talking about. I'm somebody who's going to backtrack what you're saying. Most of your subscribers are not going to... You take a minute of your subscribers because most of them are young. Most of them are in high school or elementary school. They're not going to backtrack what you tell you. So that's why you're mad at me because I'm going back and exposing what you're doing. Again, only the Ravens... Only the Ravens are 8-3. Look at that. Ravens, right? 8-3. Right, where where's the other eight and three teams? You say that's a popular record, right? But only Baltimore is the only team I see on the ABC right now that's eight and three. Tennessee, Kansas City, and New England all each got four losses. Then we look on the NFC, right? The bucket there's only two teams that are eight and three. So that's a lie. Again, this man, this this dude is making things up to try to make himself look good. You gotta watch people like this guy. And uh yeah, so with that out of the way, that has nothing to do with this video. I just want to say how. Yeah, it is, cause you just said you just said the game is scripted, right? You bringing up records, okay? He's won't you to bet on him, right? He's setting you up for the trap. But let's continue. But yeah, let's get on to this play. Now you say that's not disrespectful. You saying you looking at you looking at Deshaun Jackson getting embarrassed, dude. Like, come on now. Deshaun did not want to do that, man. He didn't tuck the football correctly. That's what it was. He the, the, that guy made a play. He didn't he, when he, the ball got cut. He didn't have time enough to tuck the football. Why would this man want to fumble on purpose and cost his football team? This is a divisional rivalry, dude. Again, you know nothing about football because the Raiders and Chiefs hate each other with a passion. Okay. That was a defensive play. Deshaun would not try to fumble on purpose. Because if you do this, bro, this could get you benched. 
This could get somebody benched and, not, and basically get their spot taken by the, the next player up. All right? Deshaun was not trying to fumble on purpose. This is what I mean by disrespectful. Okay? Let's look at another disrespectful video you did. And this this basically shows how disrespectful it is, right? Let's look at Bill Check, right? Single day. So make sure y'all stay tuned. But anyways. Like, of course, Devin McCarthy going to say this because he's mad he lost. He's mad. He, he said Devin McCarthy says he was playing all week to bench Malcolm Butler. Now, Malcolm Butler got into it with the management. Okay? That's why he got benched. If you actually watch the whole interview, you watch the story, Malcolm Butler did something that pissed New England off. He violated team rules, and they had to bench him. Okay? Let's say Patriots safety and Captain Devin McCarthy recalled that it, that it was a plan all week to bench cornerback Malcolm Butler in the Super Bowl, which it was a contrary to what Butler and Aaron Rose said about the situation. Again, that, that had off-the-field issues is why they benched him. Okay? That was, a discipline, that was disciplinary action. All right? They ain't had nothing to do with that Super Bowl. Because New England was really trying to win that Super Bowl. Matter of fact, let's look at that Super Bowl, right? Let's look at that scoreboard. So you say he's he just trying to lose on purpose. Again, bro, this is disrespectful, dude. This is what I mean by you disrespecting these athletes. Right? Let's look at that scoreboard. Let's look at that score, dude. Look at the 41 and 33. Again, New England was trying to win that game. It's just Philly was the better team. Philly had a stacked up team. Bill Belichick don't lose games on purpose. Anybody know Bill Belichick? He doesn't lose on purpose at all. Okay? So I'm going to let y'all know how Bill Belichick lost the Super Bowl for the Patriots against the Eagles on purpose. So Again, nobody loses on purpose, bro. You would make... If Bill, Bill Belichick was a CS, he was a CU, bro, you make Bill Belichick want to slap the S-H-I-T out of you. Excuse my language, bro. Like, I'm sorry to have to say this, but it's the truth, bro. You make somebody, you make this guy want to strain you like Homer does Bart Simpson. It don't make an ounce of sense. Let me show you Bill Belichick's Super Bowl record, right? This is a Coach Bill. I want you to look at this picture here, right? This is young Bill Belichick with, with um, this is young Bill Belichick, right? In 1986. With Bill Parcells, okay? This was the Giants that defeated... This is the Giants who won a Super Bowl in 1986. This man been winning Super Bowl since the 80s, okay? In the 1990s, the man... I think he won two. He won two with, with the New York Giants. 86 and 1990. Y'all can correct me if you're wrong. You can back check if I'm lying. This man been winning Super Bowl since then. This was Lawrence Taylor's defensive coach, okay? The man then coached the Browns. Let's look at all the teams this, this dude has been a part of. I'm not going to bring up the Lions because that was way back then. That was in the 70s. That's when he started. He started off with the Lions as a coordinator, but the Lions is trash. This is when Bill Belichick started winning, right? Now, this is Bill Belichick with the Cleveland Browns. Now, the Browns didn't win anything. This is in the mid-90s. After he left the Giants, he went to the Browns. They didn't win anything. They were still competitive. They were a playoff team that just wasn't good. Okay, they wasn't great. But Bill Belichick had that team competing. The Browns wasn't, wasn't that sorry at all. There was a time when the Browns was actually legit, and this man was helping them compete, right? They, they was competitive. But for whichever for, for whichever reason, him and Armando wasn't getting along, so he left, right? So then he went to this team. The Jets, right? Now, when he went to the Jets, the Jets, again, he had a down year. They weren't that good. But still, him and Bill Parcells were still together, right? They got respect for each other, right? Still the same coach style. Again, the, the farthest the Jets got was I think they went to the AFC Championship game in 2000, but they lost. I think 99, I think 98, 99, they lost. I think they lost to the Brock. The farthest they ever got was I think they went to the division round, but this team still wasn't that good, right? The Jets still wasn't winning Super Bowls. This is a time when Bill Belichick wasn't winning nothing, brother, okay? I'm showing you actual history. If it was scripted, why didn't Bill Belichick turn this team around? If it was really scripted, why didn't him and Bill Belichick have the Jets Winning a Super Bowl. Why the Jets couldn't play against the uh, the Denver Broncos if that was the, really the case, right? How come this team couldn't play against the Baltimore Ravens if that was really the case, if it was really scripted, sir? Let me ask you that question. If the game was rigged and scripted, how come Bill Belichick couldn't win, couldn't get the Browns or the New York Jets to the Super Bowl in the time he was on the coaching staff, right? Now, let's go to the Patriots. Let's see, um... 
Let me show you when you first got to New England. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Bill check. Let's see. 2000. Now, when this man first came to New England, this guy was the basically the assistant coach behind Bill Parcells. Not Bill Parcells, but um, Pete Carroll, excuse me. Let's see, um, Pete Carroll. Let me see if I get a picture. Okay, so this guy here. I want you to pay attention to this man here. This was the head coach of New England Patriots before he went to USC. Bill Belichick was the offensive coordinator, the assistant behind Pete Carroll. Now, when Pete Carroll was the coach to the New England Patriots, they were sorry. All right, they weren't that good at all. They were just taking beatings. That team was just failing every year, dude. Okay? Let's look at the Patriots record when they had Pete Carroll. Let me... Well, we're going we gonna to do some real research. Let's look at their record under Pete Carroll. Look at that. 5-11. and 11. Okay? Horrible, dude. And yet you say it's scripted. It's rigged, right? It's scripted, right? But that team was 5-11. and 11. Again... When Bill Belichick came over there, that man came from years of disappointment, of losing teams. The Browns and Jets was losing franchises. Okay, look at the Jets, 9-7. Look at the Dolphins. Look at that record, dude. And this is the Dolphins. I believe they still had Dan Marino back then. Now, the Colts had Peyton Manning. This is young Peyton Manning. Look at the Jets, but look at them. Bills, 8-8. But look at, look at how, how horrible that record is. Okay? And that was, the head coach was, uh, was Pete Carroll. Look, Coach Bill Belichick, right? Look at the head coach, 2000. Yeah, Pete Carroll was a coach in 99. That's when, this is when Bill Belichick took over. But yeah, because Pete Carroll was in 99. Right? This is when he first took over, right? Trash. Let's look at the Patriots in 99, right? That's when he first took over. But let's look at Pete Carroll's record. 8-8. Eight and eight. So Pete Carroll did a little better than him, but it was still horrible, dude. They didn't, the Patriots wasn't winning nothing. Okay. Again, you got no respect for Bill Belichick at all, dude. Look at Pete Carroll, 8-8. Eight eight. Bill Belichick, too, because Pete Carroll left. They fired him. He left and went to USC around 2000. Okay? So I'm just showing you this right now, dude. I'm just, I'm just showing you something, dude. Yeah, the, Bill Belichick took over just a, year, just a year after. Right? They were trash. So with that being said, dude, the dude had to draft Tom Brady. In 2000, he had to draft Tom Brady in the sixth round. When nobody believed in Tom Brady at all but Bill Belichick. Okay? So this year, bro, this is complete bullcrap. So as you can see from this headline right here, it says Devin McCourty says it was a plan all week to bench Malcolm Butler. And for the tweets I'm about to show right now, um, that statement is completely contradicted. So... How you contradicted the dude plays for the football team, so he should know what's going on. So how is he contradicting himself? Once again, you were not there. You were not inside the locker room. You weren't inside that football practice when they were what, what was going on. You weren't there. Okay? Again, y'all gotta stop listening to these people that's making up lies. They make up things that ain't even true to make themselves look good. Bro, how do you know you wasn't there? You don't work for the NFL at all. So how was how is it contradicting? Well, as we can see from these tweets right here. It says Eric Rowe did not know he was. Matter of fact, let's let's cover this up now. Before I continue, yeah, of course this dude wrote a book, new. Ain't gonna let me do that. Well, yeah. Cause this this don't seem right at all, dude. Like Alright, let, let's look at let's look what uh what Bill Bush had gotta say. Cause you were not there at all. You, you gotta stop making things up, dude. You making you making you you making things up on the fly. It says four of a Patriots cornerback Michael Burton is embarking on a new life after retiring recently. His old head coach Bill Bush had recently asked about the cornerback, specifically the question asked about why Belichick benched the cornerback in the Super Bowl that came after his malicious interception that gave the Patriots a Lombardi against the Seattle Seahawks. So, let's see. So, Bill Belichick on Malcolm Butler's time with the Patriots. He's saying, once you're back again, looking back, I always try to do what's best for the football team. 
And that's what I'll continue to do and try to look ahead and not look back too much. Let me see here. Um, once again, imagine it's all Bill Belichick may ever say about the cornerback convention. Malcolm Munch was followed by a defensive performance by the Patriots, 41 to Nick Foles. Punish, okay. Uh, in the eyes of fans of punish, Malcolm Butler has been placed on reserve retired for list. Bill Belichick also helped heap praise of the cornerback and his contributions to the team and genuinely an excellent player with the Patriots. So this says, Malcolm's a great story, Belichick said. You're talking about a kid that's underdrafted, really couldn't get into a training camp. And then when we brought him up here for a rookie meeting camp trial, he wasn't even signed when we brought him up here. To see the fact that he had talent and to see him grow and develop as a player, as a person where he was here and what his four years of play here meant to this organization is pretty impressive. There's a lot of guys that do what he did, although J.C. Jackson has followed a similar path. But again, he's very unusual. That's very unusual just in terms of playing and all that. No, Belichick got nothing but respect for the dude. But again, dude, this just said he had to do what's best for the team. Okay? Again, dude, if you watched if you watch that story, dude, he tell you why he benched him, dude. Cause again, he wasn't even performing that well anyway, dude. Like Balka Butler was even that doing that well that season. Okay? Again, bro, you gotta actually watch football, cause I'm not gonna again, you gotta look into that, dude. Y'all gonna do your own research, dude. Cause if you look at Malcolm Butler's performance, dude, like it's there's a reason why he started somebody else. Starting until right before the game, seemed as puzzled as rest of New England to why no Malcolm Butler. And even Malcolm then, bro, Butler like Malcolm Butler, 90. what about the other guys that played in that game, dude? Okay, Malcolm Butler didn't play, but what does it have to do with them losing? Because Malcolm Butler is just one dude. 7% of the New England Patriots, reg another thing from another source, and it's just not... Dude, you're reading right. YouTube comments. First of all, dude, why are you reading comments? That means nothing, dude. You're reading other people's, like, opinions. Could it be a football-related decision when Malcolm Butler has been such a key part to their defense? Like I said, he played 97% of their regular season snaps, and he played every single snap in the previous playoff game. And as we all know, this was the result of Bill Belichick not playing his top. Dude, like, come on now, dude. Like, again, bro, like, just stop it, dude. This dude was not trying to lose. You can't blame that on you can't blame that on him mentioning Malcolm Butler, dude. You can't. Okay? Because this is this is the only Super Bowl he lost. Okay? Bill Bay check the lose on purpose, dude. No, don't don't put don't put the blame on him for that. Okay? Bill Bill check those he doing. The man got the man won six Super Bowls. Sir. Six of them. Okay? Again, there was reasons behind him benching him. Alright? Because, again, you was not there. You don't know what's going on. you just making things up, dude. Nobody loses a Super Bowl on purpose. Okay? The Eagles just have the better team. Look at LeGarrette Blunt. Matter of fact, let's look at the Eagles uh, players. Matter of fact, since you want to talk that crap, dude, they, they was a the better team. They had nothing to do with Malcolm Butler at all. Let's look at, the, let's look at this roster, dude. Let's look how stacked it was. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Jordan Matthews, Fletcher Cox, Malcolm Jenkins. Well, look at that. Torrey Smith, another um, Pro Bowler, right? Look at that. Look, Garrett Blunt, another Pro Bowler. Alshon Jeffrey. Look at all the. Look at that. They're stacked up, dude. Chase Keenum, a reliable backup. You still have Brent Keeley. Okay, look at Nelson. Look at Nelson Algar when he was actually decent. Zach Ertz, one of the better veteran tight ends. Look at that roster, dude. They were stacked up. Right? You had Malcolm Jenkins. Come on now, dude. Just stop it, man. You don't know what you don't know your football. You don't know your rosters, dude. You can't blame that on him. Again, Malcolm Butler did something that pissed the team off. Okay? Which is why they had to put him on disciplinary action. Like, this thing is sad, dude. Give New England, give Philadelphia the credit. Nobody loses on purpose. Dude, it's not fair to that team, dude. Matter of fact, now let's look at New England's roster. Right? Let's look at the other cornerback. Because he wasn't... Again, Malcolm Butler's not the only guy over there, right? Again, you disrespecting the other guys there, dude. Okay? Let's look at New England's roster. Since you want to talk this crap, dude. Because this is the same team that came back the following year. Let's, let's, look, let's look at their roster, dude. 
Let's look at their let's look at their roster, man. Because again, dude, you don't want to understand what the hell you talking about, dude. I'm serious, dude. You you sound like a hater, man. Because they were max other dudes on this team, dude. Look at look at this. Look at these guys, dude. Look at Martellus Bennett, Kenny Brent, Malcolm Brown. Okay. Look at that. Adam. You have you have Adam Butler, dude. He's not the only guy there. Right, he's not the only DB. Right, there's other guys on that team, dude. Look at Stefan Gilmore. You forgot about this guy here, Stefan. Right, you got that. That team is loaded. There's other guys there, dude. He ain't the only one. Look at Gilmore, dude, a pro bowler himself, right? Dude, you got Harmon. Look at that, dude. Jonathan Jones. Brandon King. The same team. Watch, Eric Rowe. The same team came back the following year and won another Super Bowl, did they not? Right? They do, They didn't need Malcolm Butler. Okay? There's reasons why they benched him. Okay? Because, again, it's all about matchups, too. You got to understand that, dude. Look, look how loaded this team is, dude. Look at Patrick Chun. You got other guys there, dude. You don't know what the hell you're talking to. Again, bro, you're making, you making this stuff up, dude. It just don't make an ounce of sense. Now, let's look at the Patriots roster when they beat the Rams. Let's look, at, let's look at the roster, right? And this is when Malcolm Butler gone. Since you want to talk this crap, dude. You want to disrespect Bilicek. Look at these dudes, right? Look at Cordell Patterson. Right? Deion Lewis. Look at J.C. Jackson, dude. They don't need... They didn't need him at all. They really didn't, didn't right? Because even that play against the Seattle, that was a lucky play, dude. That, he just made a play, right? But you got J.C. Jackson. Look, look at this dude, right? They didn't need this dude. They really didn't, man. Okay? He's just one guy. You got another. You got other guys on a team that are professionals. That's waiting for their turn. That's just as hungry. Okay. Look at all these dudes, man. They loaded, man. Every year, New England has had a stacked up roster. Why? Because Billichek knows how to draft. Billichek knows who to uh who to pick up. Look at Dante Hightower. Look at all these guys, right? Look, they they got Jason McCord. They got his Devin's little brother. All right. They there was no need for that dude, man. You had other guys. Look at that roster, dude. Right? Look, they picked up Josh Gordon. Look at this, dude. Look at the defense, man. They didn't need, they, they need Devin McCarthy. Look, they put Patrick Chung at... Look, at Patrick Chung, right? You still have to say dudes. Keon Croson, right? Again, these are quality guys. These are not sorry dudes at all. Nate Ebner. Just because... Bro, just because you don't watch everybody, you don't you understand Ross's dude, don't mean these guys are trash. Okay? You can't blame that on Malcolm Butler's benching. Look at J.C. You still had J.C. Jackson, right? Cyrus Jones, right? Jonathan Jones, dude, right? Look, you got Cyrus Jones and Jonathan Jones, dude. Brandon King, come on now, dude, from Auburn, dude, six two. Come on now, dude. They're not tripping over that guy. And you gotta say it too. Maybe Michael Butler then got into it with Billy Check even that week, dude. Don't you think that might have happened? Let's just use common sense. Dan McCarthy, Dan McCarthy might have got into it with Bill Billy Check or one of those players. During the week of that Super Bowl. Is why he decided to bench him. Okay. Like come on now dude. Look you got Eric Rowe man. Like these are quality dudes man. There's a reason why New England keep going back. Because Bill Belichick knows how to draft. He knows how to win. Again the man been winning since 1986. Okay. This is what I mean bro. By you disrespecting these football players dude. You disrespect the league. This right here is disrespectful to every New England Patriot that played with Belichick and won. Bill Belichick don't lose Super Bowls on purpose. Okay? That just doesn't happen. Alright? Come on now, because this man just beat Sean McVay, matter of fact. Just the following season, I just showed you. That same team beat this guy, and that was a defensive game. Okay? So that's, that's another lie told. Now, let's get to these guys. Alright? You say pro athletes are just actors. Trust me on this one. All right, let's 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 look at Julian Gillette. Let's look at him. Let's look at this dude, right? Okay, this guy was on the Saints, man, right? Let's look at this guy's record, right? Let's look at the teams he was on. Cause this guy comes. This is somebody that again, his career didn't go the way it planned. So he sounded like a hater. Now this guy came on to the Saints the year after they won that Super Bowl. After they actually cheated, okay? 
Bro, let me show you something that you ain't gonna talk about, right? This is when the game was rigged. Bounty Gate. He got drafted the year after this happened. See, infinitely known as Bounty Gate was an incident in which members of the New Orleans Saints team and National League were accused of paying out bonuses and bounties and injuring the opposing players on purpose, right? They did this to the Vikings. They did this to the Cardinals. They were injuring teams on purpose. Dude, go look at this whole article. The Saints rigged their season so they can win themselves. It had nothing to do with the referees. It had nothing to do with the league itself. There was no script for this. They did this on their own. Okay? Look at Jonathan Vilba. This was the main dude. Okay? So, I want you to look at, for everybody look at it, go look at this article. You need to read that. Alright? Before you go off and talk about what you're talking about. Now, this guy here, let's look at this whole record, right? Because the Saints have had plenty of chances to get to a Super Bowl. Right? And each time they failed. Look at this. 2011, this team was taking L's, right? In the playoffs. The Vi the Saint, the Seahawks, the Seattle Seahawks with Marshawn Lynch beat them that year in 2011. That was before Russell Wilson came, and they lost in the first round. They lost, yeah, they lost in the wild card round to the uh, to the Seattle uh, Seahawks, right? Now 2012, they, uh, they didn't make the playoffs, but 2013, let's see who they lose to in 2013. Let's see who they lose in 2013, because this guy. This guy is somebody who wasn't that successful at all in his career. His teams just wasn't good enough to win no championship. Let's see. Who would they uh, who would they play? I'm going to show you everybody they lost to. Because these Saints fans were annoying, dude. Right? Look at the Cowboys beat them. Let's see. Who would they who would they lose to, man? Okay, that that's all right. Let me see. Uh, all right, this is just recent. This is not telling me. I don't know why they brought up. Let me see, huh? Let's see. I'm gonna show you every every everybody he played in the playoffs. Let's look at 2013, dude. Let's see. Let's 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 look at this. The who they on? Let me see this bracket real quick. Yeah, 2013, yeah, they didn't, like, look, look at that, they didn't make the playoffs. So, 2013, they didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, 2013, you didn't make the playoffs. But let's see, let's look at 2014. He didn't make the playoffs at all. His team was not that good, but you want to sit there and say they acting? Let's look at all the teams, let's look at everything that happened while he was there. Now, this was on a Julian Gillette's watch when he played, right? Let's look at these playoff brackets. Again, where's the Saints? 2014, right? Where's the New Orleans? Where's the New Orleans Saints, right? Seattle, look at that, look at that, right? Where are they? Okay. Look at six seed, right? Seattle beats them, right? Look, look, look at these playoff brackets. Let's look at all these playoff brackets. Look at 2014. Let's look at 2014, right? Where's the Saints? Didn't make the playoffs, okay? So you want to say it's rigged, but his team. Is it that the fact that it's, is they acted or is this team just not that good? Now that's what I'm trying to figure out, dude. Because how are you gonna say it's acting? All right, and then let's let's look at 2017, right? The Washington Football Team, right? 2017. It's due to somebody that's hating on these teams, dude. Matter of fact, all right, 2014. Let's look at 2015. I'm gonna show you this team been taking L's the last ten years. Let's look at 2015, right? Now we see 2013, 2014, his team didn't make the playoffs. 2011, they lost to the uh, 2011, they lost to the um, Seattle Seahawks. Let's, let's look at um, 2015. Twenty fifteen at the end. Where's the Saints? Right? Didn't make the playoffs. And this was Cam Newton's, um, this is the year Cam Newton won the, um, uh, MVP, okay? Cam Newton played the Broncos in Super Bowl 50, okay? Again, Saints are nowhere to be found, right? Let's look at 2016. Look at everything that happened while he was there, okay? Because you can't, you can't say that the league is scripted. You can't say the actor and your team is just not that good to compete, right? Look again, where is the Saints? No Saints at all. 
None. None, dude. Okay? Look at this. Where's the Saints? Where are the Saints, dude? All right, now these, this is not even, uh, where's the real one? See, where's, where's the real bracket? Because this don't say, this is all fake. This is a prediction. Where's the real, where's the actual bracket? Let's see. Let me let me look at the real bracket. Let me let me let's see the real bracket, cause once again this that team did not make the uh. Let's look at the real bracket, right? This is 2016. We are gonna look at the real bracket. I'll show you this. This team been taking L's for years, dude. Like give me the give me the actual bracket. Where's the where's the where's the real one, dude? Like, yeah, cause uh, you can you can look at you can look for yourself, dude. They didn't that team didn't that team didn't win, dude, at all. They were just taking losses. 2016, 2017, dude, loss. Let's see. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I know. Um, 2015 and 2014, they didn't make the playoffs. I don't believe. Right? Let's see. Um, 2016. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Um, let's let's look at 2016, that happened, dude. Right? You forget this, right? Watch this dude won. Right? They they lost. Let's look at all the L's, dude. So, yeah. So 2017, they lost. They've been losing since 2017. They've been taking L's. Right? They lost to the Vikings. Did the following year they lose to the Rams? Did the Vikings the third another time? Right last year you lost to the Buccaneers. They've been taking L's, but all the times this dude played, this team was not making the playoffs at all. And he was on Washington, that was that didn't make the playoffs, dude. So this dude was on losing ends. So of course this dude is gonna say they're acting because his career didn't go the way it wanted. He wanted to. He just sound like a hater. So I covered that. I covered that lie, right? This dude can't be taken seriously. And why do you have Earl Cam on here, right? We all know that we're grown men, that rest is fake. And football isn't played the way uh, it wasn't played, right? He says wrestling is fake. Okay, so this is all how you misinterpret it. I don't know why Earl Campbell is even on here, dude. Why would you put him on there, dude? Earl Campbell is an NFL Hall of Famer. Okay? Earl Campbell doesn't have a reason to say it's fake at all, dude. Let's look at Earl Campbell. Because I have, I don't have, I don't understand this dude, right? When he, when he means football ain't played the way he played, football is different, dude, than when he came in, right? Because, again, man, this dude came in like the 70s, dude. Look at the 78, 79. Football is way different than it was then, because when Earl Kemmer played, bro, it wasn't 31, it wasn't 32 teams at all. It was, on, it was less than, I think it was like less than 25. And then on top of that, dude, like, people, the things Earl Kemmer was doing back then, you can't do in, in today's NFL because of CTE. There was at least over five, six cases in the last 15 years with CTE, okay? So, the league, Roger Goodell does what he do to make the league safer, okay? But look at, look at these years, dude. Football is not played like it was in 85, okay? Look at that, look at these, look at these years, dude. This is what he means, dude. So again, man, leave Earl Campbell out of it, dude. I don't know why you even put him on there. Now let, let's get on Dwight Smith. Matter of fact, let, let's let's cover that dude. Cause bro, you something else. Now let's cover this guy. Cause I showed you already, dude. Again, I'm finna, I'm finna. Um, I got a response for everything you throwing out. You said Super Bowl thirty seven champion Dwight Smith, who was a part of that team, two pick sixes. We all know what he did against the Raiders. But he joins us here on the Ronnie T. Crash Show as we count down to Super Bowl Sunday. Dwight, Ronnie, and Tom here. How are you? Welcome to the show. All right. Uh, we have to better than I deserve. There it is. <laughs> is that right? Now, before we continue, I'm going to watch. We're going to let this guy make a clown of himself, right? Because he, he's going he's to make zero sense at all. This guy is somebody that he's going he gonna to see him put down a brother. He's going to put down a black player, a black athlete, right? He's going he gonna to put down one black athlete, right? 
just so he can make himself like watch what he does, dude. Because this is again, dude, it don't make no sense at all. I don't know why he even went on here and did this interview. Well, you know, we got a great matchup coming up with uh, Super Bowl Fifty Five. Obviously, the Buccaneers are playing on their home field. They're not the home team, I guess. I guess you could say they're the home team, but it's supposed to be a neutral field. But just tell me, as a four now, the reason why they um they play in that Super Bowl because that that was the Super Bowl that was chosen already. Now these Super Bowl locations they already predetermined. Okay, the NFL plans out ten years of where the Super Bowl location is going to already be at. Now, for go on my channel, you can see where I actually told you the reason why Brady decided to choose the Buccaneers and the reason why Rob Gorkowski came back because Tom Brady wanted to be the first player in NFL history to play for a home field, to be on a team that has the home field advantage. Well, he wants to be on a team that plays in their own home stadium. He wants to be the he was he wants to break records. Brady is hungry behind records. I told you that already. This is why Tom Brady hasn't retired yet because the man is trying to break every record he can before he leaves. So I already covered that in the, uh, in my videos. I explained what why they uh what why these uh these Super Bowl locations are already selected. Okay, now that's predetermined. Before every season, they've already planned where the Super Bowl gonna be at. Okay, so let's get that out the way now. If you don't believe me, you can look that up for yourself. The Buccaneer, how surreal is this for the Bucks to be in the Super Bowl in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium? That's a good question, man. I, I would like to ask some Tampa fans that question because I really don't. I really don't know. Well, I mean, this is something that uh, no. But you, but brother, you play for Tampa, right? You won him a ring, so again, bro, how you gonna how you gonna disrespect your? How you gonna go against your fan base? How you gonna go against the fans and on team you play for? If anything, bro, you should. This dude should be happy for the Buccaneers that they're back in a Super Bowl that he played with. But yeah, he want to come with the scrutiny, dude. I, I don't get it at all. The hatred is real. Has ever seen before? I mean, you're hosting the Super Bowl. The Bucks are in it. It's Brady versus Mahomes. I mean, I predicted at the beginning of the year. I said if the NFL wanted to have the home team in the Super Bowl, this would be the perfect year. Pandemic, people can't travel, you know, so it's not, big, it's not a shock to me. How big of an advantage do you think it would be for the Buccaneers not having to travel anywhere? Because obviously, you know, when you were in the that's Super Bowl. Not no, that's not no advantage. I don't have no advantage. No advantage? Okay. You say they had no advantage, but the way they played seemed like they had an advantage. Okay. Because the Buccaneers had the, they ran the four four defense, so they was already prepared for Mahomes, okay. And Mahomes already came in a shorthand, and that man was listen was missing two of his um uh, his office alignment. I explained that too on my videos why how the Chiefs lost, okay. The Buccaneers had a, a game plan for the um uh, for the Chiefs, but again they're playing in their house, so they should have home field advantage, okay. You're playing at home, so again, dude, I don't understand how I don't know what he's talking about. But again, Dwight Smith might have been high when he did this video. Nah. All right, so that's like saying they have advantage at every home game during the year. So I mean, <laughs> it ain't like they won every home game, so it ain't much of an advantage. Yep. And no, okay, so Lobo again, dude. Why are you skipping over? All right, let's 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 look at this. Let's look at the whole video because Lobo is skipping over things. Lobo, Lobo is skipping over. He's skipping over the interview, right? He's skipping over the whole thing. Done. Um, I be making good profit off these sports. I find it funny he skipped over. It. He want to fast forward it, but let's let's look at this dude, right? Let's see. Um. Let's let's look at the schedule. Okay, let's let's see what Dwight Smith is talking about, cause because again, dude. Um, now look at that. He had to, that 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 game came down to the wire. Look at twenty thirty, right? Again, so you want to talk about? Look at this, dude. Look, this is how good Tom Brady is. Look, we're gonna talk about skill. Now look at that. The Chiefs beat them already earlier in that season. He don't talk about this game at all. I want you to see this, right? Cause this is what Dwight Smith don't mention. The Chiefs and Buccaneers had already played each other earlier that year. Okay? So again, the Buccaneers have had an idea on how to play against Kansas City. Okay? Again, NFL breakdowns, Dwight Smith is not going to tell you this game because he's that dumb. This guy is literally, clearly is not paying attention at all, dude. Again, dude, this dude sounds like a hater, man. 
He's come off of somebody that's mad because his nobody's talking about his Buccaneers, right? He don't again. Dude, it's, I, don't, I don't understand this. You played against that same team earlier in the season, okay? And yet the Chiefs are going to your house for the Super Bowl. Look at that. They were ten and one. They were seven and five. Okay. Look at Patrick Mahomes, three touchdowns, four hundred and sixty-two yards. Look at Clyde Edwards here, right? They had him last year. Okay. Look at Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell is missing this year. That's another. That's the reason why the Buccaneers, are, the uh, Chiefs, are not doing this this good at all this year, right? Because they don't have Le'Veon Bell. All right. He's he's the missing factor right now. But but look at these look at these guys, right? This is all who they lost to on that roster. Okay. So again, the Buccaneers played him and lost to the Chiefs earlier that year. Okay, so Dwight Smith don't, don't mention that at all. He don't talk about that. So I find that very... Look how close this game was. So again, we're going we gonna to forget this happened, right? That's why I find it funny how Dwight Smith did that, that video, dude. Look at this. Little sling to hell. Now y'all see that right? When Patrick Mahomes had two of his offensive linemen, they weren't they were missing in that Super Bowl because they were hurt. Look at that. Already with a big strike. Easy money. Aggressive player and Devon White. They got a great set of linebackers. Look at that line. Look at that line holds up. That one on one coverage. What a catch by Hill. There's a saying that goes that it's hard to beat a team. Sometimes it's hard to beat a team twice or three times. Yeah, it's hard to beat a team three times. But if you're the Buccaneers, you played against the Chiefs. And I said this in the other video I showed you, young man. Again, if the Buccaneers played against this team in the regular season loss, wouldn't they have a better game plan? They're not going to play them the same way the second time. Okay? That, that's what I'm still trying to figure out. Why didn't Dwight Smith bring up this game? Okay? Again, y'all you, you, need to understand it. He sounds like a hater. That man doesn't like the fact that Tom Brady is in it. This man, this man, sound like he's, he's he sound like somebody that is again. He fell along the rabbit hole, trying to get attention. Now, this one to Watkins, able to hold on. That ball was wobbling in his hands. Second and goal. Look at that. Cross back. It's Kelsey looking to throw it, and he does. Knocked down by Davis. Again, this game was not this game was not scripted at all. Okay. So again, why would they need to script these two teams if they're playing each other in a rematch? Let me ask yourself that too. Man. For people watching this video, y'all got to ask yourselves. How's this going to be scripted? The opening drive. Mahomes off his back foot. He has to throw it away. As that was well defended. And this is a Chiefs team that won the Super Bowl. They just beat San Francisco the season before. And then before then... The, the father year, right when um the Patriots defeated him, that game went into overtime by this guy here. This guy is a former MVP of the league. Okay, I don't need to script the game. I don't need to rig or script the game for this guy to try to win. If he's that good, I'm gonna try to let him beat him, beat him on himself. But look at this, dude. The Chiefs have already beat him at home before. By Tampa Bay. Butker drives it, going underneath, going the wrong way. Look at that, right? So okay, so if that happened, I don't understand what this dude would come on here and talking, dude. Like it's just it's crazy. Y'all know all the X's and O's, man. I'm just sitting at home watching. I I I don't like to get into that because I don't believe the game is really decided. Let's look at that again. I don't like to get into that. All right. So that's like saying they have advantage at every home game during the year. So I mean, but they didn't have advantage in this game at all, right? Look at that. It was already 17 nothing in the second quarter going into halftime. Right before they score. Look at this. Did he stay in? Touchdown. It is a miracle. Watch. Watch what Patrick Mahomes does on this play. Graphic by Katie and Ryan. First and 15. Second and easy man. Each time the offensive line holds up, I want you to pay attention to the line. As we approach the two minute warning, Kelsey comes in a little tighter on that left side. To the right they go, instead to Robinson. And, he, we're gonna be, and then it's like, oh my gosh. 
this onslaught just began. Second and one. And Bell. Again. Le'Veon Bell is not around this season. You wonder why the Kansas City Chiefs are struggling to win games and they're as strong as they was last year because that man is not playing. That's the factor sure, there. This season in the NFL, who can survive it? Man, Again, look how that offensive line is holding up. Under a minute. Can look at that, dude. It? You want to put the hammer down when you can against anybody. Third and ten. Again, being chased. A third throw away. So again, see now you now you see, right? So again, what is this guy talking about? I do on I, I don't know, man. Like he's come on here embarrassing himself. <laughs> it ain't like they won every home game. So it ain't much of an advantage. Yeah, y'all know all the X's and O's, man. I'm just sitting at home watching. I I I don't like to get into that because I don't believe the game is really decided on the field. So, you know, I don't get into so you or you say they didn't have every home game, but they won that game, right? Again, dude, like just stop, man. Okay, so they if they don't have advantage, then why would you say it's not decided on the field? Okay, like this this man is clearly trying to get attention. Dude. He's clearly high when he did this video. All the X's and O's and talking, man. I like You're a football player, so you should know X's and O's. Like I said, I played in the game. I, I set a Super Bowl record, and we knew every play they was running before the game started. You knew every player because John Gruden previously coached on that team. Matter of fact, let's look at John Gruden's Raider record. Let's look at his record, dude. Again, I said 2001. Why are you bringing that up? They must hate Gruden that much. Okay, this is this is the roster, right? Let's see. Let's, let's look at their record. So again, they were ten and six. Again, this is this was the season before two thousand two. Look, at one wild card, thirty eight to twenty four against the New York Jets. And they lost the division round, but look, look, look at who was all on there, dude, right? John Gruden knew everything about everybody over here. He coached this entire team. He built. Now, Tim Brown, this is my cousin-in-law, okay? This is, my, this, is, this, is, this is family, right? But, again, John Gruden already knew everything about this whole team, okay? So, common sense. If, if I'm on a team with John Gruden... And the team we're up against in the Super Bowl is the Oakland Raiders, who he previously coached the season before. Wouldn't that give us an advantage already? John Gruden, don't, again, he knew everything about the players. It don't even matter about the playbook they're running. He already knows everybody's strengths and weaknesses. Okay, he already knows how good Charlie Gard he already knows how good Rich Gannon is. He already knows how to defend against Jerry Rice. He already knows everything about these guys. Okay? So for Dwight Smith to say that, dude, like, y'all already had that advantage already because John Gruden previously worked with everybody over here. He knows, he already knows the entire coaching staff. Okay? The coordinators, everybody there. All right? That's why the Buccaneers won. You already had an advantage. Okay? So how are you talking about Tom Brady and your team, your team had the, the former head coach of the Raiders when you played him? All right, so, hey, who am I to say? Well, tell us about that week leading up to the Super Bowl because that was the big thing. Bill Callahan was the Raiders coach at the time. Obviously, John Gruden had just come over. Tell us about that week of preparation leading up to the game and how it was executed by you guys. And Lobo, you know, you could Lobo and that's another thing. Lobo lied, man. Tim Brown didn't say they threw the game. I ain't never heard Tim Brown out of his own mouth say that he that they threw the game, dude. I don't know why. Again, bro, y'all got to stop, dude. Somebody show me where they actually said in their own mouth that Jerry Rice and Tim Brown both said that John Gruden threw, uh, like the um, Bill Kelly and tried to throw that game. That, that's why I'm, I'm uh, that's why I don't understand, dude. Y'all gotta stop making up lies. Lobo, I'm gonna get to you next in another video. Know which plays are coming? And Tim Brown and Jerry Rice come out and say that they made them run Jerry Rice. I mean, Tom, uh, John Gruden's offense. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It was his offense, and you guys knew exactly what was coming. Did you know every they, single play? They didn't run that.
Okay, yeah, this is true. But again, John Gruden knew everything about that team. Okay, so again, he don't the Raiders don't it don't matter what playbook they run. I already know the players that I, I previously played against. Okay, so that that would refute that whole thing. They the White Smith that, is talking. They didn't about. run that offense all year though. Ain't it odd that you were running when you playing against us? So did did you guys do know every play before the ball was snapped? <laughs> I'm just saying, man, it, it, the game ain't decided on the field. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> again, Vegas has nothing to do with this at all, dude. Again, stop using Vegas as an excuse to why these players lose. Again, that's no accountability at all. These guys are the ones who got to play the game. Okay? The Raiders lost that. They should have came up with something else. Right? John Gruden, again, man, Dwight Smith just got blessed. But stop saying it's Vegas, dude. Y'all got to stop that, dude. I'm serious, man. Y'all got to stop blaming Vegas. The Vegas ain't got nothing to do with these players at all, dude. These players are the ones that got to score the touchdowns. They're the ones who got to practice. They're the ones who got to look at the playbooks. They're the ones who got to watch game film against their opponents. Stop blaming Vegas for everything. It, it, sound, it sounds retarded. It looks it looks stupid. And in for all breakdowns, young man, this is why I call you dumb. <laughs> like I said, I predict who's going to be in the Super Bowl. It ain't about who has the best players. Football is entertainment. So who, what's the most? It is about who has the best players. Okay, that's why New England. Had, that's why in the last five. That's why in the last ten years, New England was in five Super Bowls, which I told y'all they had a loaded roster. Okay, Bill Checks is two thousand two has had some of the best rosters. Why? Because he knows how to draft guys that fit his system. Okay, how the Giants and Eagles beat them? They had the defensive line. They had the personnel to beat them. To beat Tom Brady, you got to have the right units. Okay, that's how you beat the Patriots. It's, it is all about rosters. Okay. It's always been about the rosters. Who has the better roster? And just because entertainment don't make it scripted or rigged, don't mean it's WWE. Again, most of you who watch these videos have never been to these games. And young man, rigging it for breakouts for you to make a video doing this, bro, you sound stupid, man. Again, you sound low down. It's entertaining Super Bowl. The Bucks in their first one against Patrick Mahomes has nothing to do with if these are the best teams because we know that these aren't the best teams. So how's the how's the um, Chiefs got the best teams if they beat the San Francisco 49ers just the season before, Dwight, okay? And then the following year, just 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 out, just not counting last year, okay? 2019, they beat the uh, in 2019, right? They beat the uh, they beat the San Francisco 49ers. The season before then, Patrick Mahomes becomes the MVP of the league, yet he loses to Tom Brady in overtime. So is the Chiefs not the best team? That means the Chiefs was the best AFC team the last two years. Last year they were the better, they were the best team. They was the best team going into last year, into that Super Bowl. That same team beat Tom Brady in the regular season. Is that not the best team? This Buccaneer team beat the Green Bay Packers and the New Orleans Saints. Both in their houses. They are the best team. Okay, Dwight Smith, again, bro, you, this dude it sounds ridiculous. Okay? He probably knows he's not getting into the Hall of Fame. That's probably why he's doing this. Because nobody's talking about the two hours of two Buccaneers. Nobody's giving them attention. This is a cry for attention. That's all this is, man. It is it's sad. It really is, man. Like, it, you got no respect for these these athletes, man. Again, this guy is literally high when he made this video. Because this guy is embarrassing himself in front of these co-hosts. And it's, it's just, it's really, it's ridiculous. About the best NFC team. So who's the best team in the NFC? In your Again, opinion? so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, the Green Bay Packers. Okay, so let's 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 refute that now. If the Green Bay Packers is really the best NFC team, they would have beaten the San Francisco 49ers the season before. The 49ers had to get through the Packers to get, uh, to play Patrick Mahomes. Okay. And Lobo, how's the radio host trying to disregard what Dwight just said? If the the the, the, the co host is just told. The white that the Buccaneers is the best NFC team because they beat the best team. They beat the they beat the um the league MVP. Aaron Rodgers was the MVP of the league last year. So how is his team not how is he like how is the Buccaneers not the best team? How is Tom Brady not the best player? Again, man, y'all trying to scrutinize this league, man. You trying to again, y'all need to stop, dude. It's it's sad. Again, y'all embarrassing yourselves, dude. Dwight Smith is making himself look stupid on camera. Cause that don't make an ounce of sense. He don't want to do this. 
He's the only Buccaneer that went out here and said this. You don't see this guy, neither one, you don't see John Lynch or, or Rondé Barber doing this nonsense. At all, dude. Okay? Again, Dwight is trying to get attention, just like Tony Gonzalez. They down this, this woke rabbit hole. It's, it's sad. But the Bucks beat them at Lambeau, though. I mean, the, the Bucks proved it. They went there to beat Aaron Rodgers at his place. You can say what you want. And by the way, it's not easy winning in Lambeau Field either. It's really not. Okay? When the Packers lost to Seattle, they lost in Seattle's house. Okay? But that just proves Aaron Rodgers, the Packers, is not the best team. Because the Green Bay Packers, and I've covered this on my channel, the Packers have had multiple chances to get to a Super Bowl. Numerous of chances. They've made the playoffs consistently and failed every time. They're not the best NFC team at all, and this proves it. They got no excuses for last year. Again, bro, go watch my video. Go watch my channel. I cover these videos. Well, man, like I say, the game ain't decided on the field. But the Bucs beat Green Bay like 38-10 to 10 at Raymond James Stadium. You're not, listen, the you're not listening to me, man. You keep saying that. So how it Again, you can't get mad at these co-hosts because they're not falling along with the BS. These co-hosts is right. They're making Dwight Smith look stupid on, on radio. No, he, this man is embarrassed himself. Bro, you're making every black athlete look dumb. I'm, I'm, it's, it's sad, dude. Again, I don't know what's wrong with these people, man. Is it, how is it decided then, if it's not on the field? The Giants won the Super Bowl in 2007. We, I, I had two pick six. I mean, two. One, I took back 93 yards. Another pick. I mean, two. One, I took back seven. Let's let's go back. Let's let's see that this again. Let, let me hear this. Well, let me hear this again. Won the Super Bowl. The field. The won the Super Bowl in two thousand and seven. We I, I had two pick six. I mean two. One I took back ninety three yards. Another pick up there in New York. We beat a forty something. We didn't have Adrian Peterson. All right. Let's, let's look. Let's look at this here, dude. Because the Giants have to really earn it, man. The Giants, Eli Manning, uh, once again, dude, you take it away from how hard, you take away from the hard work these players are going through. All right, let's look at, let's see, 2007, right? Let's look at Let's see, games are scheduled. Because it was not going to be easy at all, dude. Okay. Okay, yeah, you lost. Okay, they lost to the Vikings. Right? But again, dude, look at these playoff wins, dude. Look at against the Cal look at Look at these playoff wins. Against the Buccaneers, matter of fact. They beat the Buccaneers that year. They beat Tampa Bay. They beat the Cowboys. They beat the Packers, dude, with Brett Favre. That was not going. That went into overtime against Brett Favre. The Giants is not good. They did not earn it. Come on now, dude. And this is against John Gruden. Matter of fact, John Gruden was the head coach of this Buccaneers team, and they lost. Okay, they beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with John Gruden. They beat my Cowboys. Why? Because Tony Romo threw that interception into the end zone like an idiot. But against Brett Favre's Green Bay Packers, oh no, dude. Packers was actually the better. Packers was predicted to be the better team, and they beat them. Why? Because they ran a three-four defense that neutralizes Green Bay. The Giants earned that Super Bowl, and I already showed you the, in the last video. I responded to you, young man. Why the uh, how the Giants beat the Patriots? They played them three times that season. So again, what is this guy? Again, this guy sounds stupid, dude. He sounds like an idiot. They went on to win a Super Bowl. Like, you, right. you, but who beat what and how? Like, come on, man. Not that. All right, so how do you see this one playing out on Sunday? It depends on what Vegas, what Vegas make that call. Who they, you know, how Vegas they going to lose the most money. So do you think the Bucks' original Super Bowl that you were a part of and won was illegitimate? I think everyone is. If you don't mind me asking, then. It, it, we, we obviously appreciate giving us a little. And by the way, every fool I played don't feel the same way. No, it's, it's just him. Right? It's just his idiot behind. Okay? Again, the man knows there's people like NFL breakdown as this. He's tried to get attention. Okay? He, he, wants, he wants some type of attention. Again, nobody's talking about his Buccaneer team at all. They're talking about Brady. And, it, and he don't like it. 
Okay, the, the fact that they're not talking about him, dude. The fact that he's not getting into the Hall of Fame, that's probably why. There's a reason why. There's a reason behind everything. A little bit of time. Why do an interview for the Super Bowl if you don't Yo, believe right. that it's set up the right way? Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. He said that best. Why do an interview for the Super Bowl if you don't think it's legitimate? Yo, yo, hey, excuse me. Don't nobody call me no other time until the Super Bowl come, right? See, exactly, right? He's mad. He's not getting attention. Didn't I tell you that? This is a cry for attention? It's obvious. It's a, he's an attention monger. Okay, he's mad because he can't be no analyst. He didn't get chosen to be an analyst, right? He's not a commentator. He didn't get a coaching job, so he's just going at the NFL. But it's sad because you're a former Buccaneer. Be happy for your organization that you play for. Again, don't hate nobody else to shine. This is why I make my videos because the disrespect is real. and I, mean, I gotta expose it. I expose why people think it's scripted red because they're exposing their own their own loss. They're exposing why they, why they, they, they have a loser mentality. That's why. It's a loser mentality. They're, they're, they're upset they lost. Either they team lost or they're they, they, they haters. This is why they, they do this. And Dwight Smith sounds like a mad hater. Yet you play for the same team that just won. Be happy for your organization that you play for. Okay, you're alumni. Instead of his brother being happy, he wants to come with negativity. And embarrass himself as a black man, a black athlete in front of these Caucasians. Again, bro, this is why black folks can never get ahead. This is why people don't take our race seriously. Now you're going to see why. Yeah, I, yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Did, any, did anybody when we got on the phone say, hey, how is your family doing? How are your kids doing? No, that none of that matters. And that, so you, bro, why does it matter? Nobody, who cares, dude? Why would you care what other people think? Live your life. The NFL don't got to do nothing for you. Again, you won your ring, right? You had all this stuff. You made all this money. You, you made millions of dollars. Be happy. Again, this brother is trying to get attention. That's all it is. Man. It's an attention grab. He's willing to embarrass himself, make himself look stupid, make all these other black athletes look dumb. IQ level is be is literally below below 10. It's like, man, like, come on, dude. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And I appreciate that. We do. We yeah. do. I mean, that's, uh, that, that is our job, though, is to talk sports. I mean, it's, it's not personal. So what is and your honest... job to be real. <laughs> uh, we understand that. So what is your honest <laughs> opinion of Tom Brady uh, being in 10 Super Bowls? Uh, now, again, 10. If the game was really scripted, Tom Brady would be 10-0. and 0. He would have beaten the Giants twice. Matter of fact, the year he lost to the Giants, they, he, he would have beaten them. It would have been 18-0. They would have actually beat the 72 Dolphins record. Young man, that's why I brought up that that uh, that schedule, cause you missing the point. Okay, this is somebody you can't take seriously at all. You can't, cause he's the only player that's actually he's the only guy who was bold enough to go out here and actually say something stupid. Besides Tony Gonzalez, and I know why Tony Gonzalez is doing what he do, cause again, Tony Gonzalez is just like him, a hater. Tony Gonzalez said the game was scripted too, right? But Tony Gonzalez didn't wait to do that until after Patrick Mahomes became MVP. When the Chiefs had Alex Smith, you didn't see Tony Gonzalez at all. When Andy Reid first took the job and the Chiefs didn't make the playoffs, Tony Gonzalez didn't show up at all. He's already been out the league. This is Tony Gonzalez who career ended shortly because the man has two domestic abuse cases where he beat women upside the head. Right? Domest yeah, domestic violence. He has two domestic violence cases that sent them to jail. And despite that, Cincinnati and Washington still sign him. He's, 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 uh, he didn't do nothing after that. Okay? Tony Gonzalez is mad because his team didn't get to the Super Bowl. He don't got a ring on his finger. That's why he came out and said that about the uh, but the lead being scripted. Because he didn't want to give Patrick Mahomes no credit at all. Again, just like the White Smith is doing. Mad hater, dude. These men have came down that rabbit hole. Right? They fell for the, they fell for the okie doke. And now that's made them look stupid and dumb. And on national TV and embarrass themselves in front of everybody. Uh, good luck. A lot of luck, you know. Okay. <laughs> no, and there ain't no luck. That's skill. Again, dude. And Lobo, you making yourself look dumb in this video too, dude. You know, everybody say Tom Brady, but if I can remember, there's a lot of kickers kicking kicks for him to make it there. Well, Tom Brady did put him in a position to make those kicks. So did kicks. Jim Kelly. So did Jim Kelly, but his kicker missed the kick. He did. He did. That was in that one Super Bowl. 
against my Cowboys, who they played twice, and against the Redskins, Washington, when they were the Redskins, that was not the case. Buffalo was getting beat up. They got beat down. Okay? Y'all can go back and go look at those Super Bowls. Go watch America's game. Go watch America's game when the Cowboys and the Washington Redskins played against the Buffalo Bills. I'm sorry if, if me saying the Redskins offends people, right? Because they, they don't use that, that, that name anymore. But go back and go watch those Super Bowls. Go watch the, that scoreboard. Buffalo did not. The reason why Buffalo lost four Super Bowls because they didn't do anything different to the roster. They kept the same exact guys together. They didn't change the playbook at all. They didn't change the coaching staff. They kept trying to run the same thing against those other teams, and it didn't work. Because Mark Reitman and Troy Aikman, they had a response. Okay? Joe Gibbs and um, Jimmy Johnson, they had a game plan for that. All they did was go back and look at what they did against the Giants. Right? And we're going to go and we're going we to do, we go run those same type of defenses. That's all they did. It's not rocket science. Okay? So, again, man, you bring them Jim Kelly, but the Bills have no excuses. They lost four Super Bowls in a row. Okay? That means they were the best AFC team. They just wasn't the best team. Hey, Mr. Kick. Hey, Rob. You did. You did. You did, Mr. Kick. Well, the Bills lost four Super Bowls in a row. But it's Jim Kelly's fault. Or it's, or it's not Tom Brady's fault. It's just kicker do. Like, come on, man. It is Tom Brady's fault. Like, the kicker's fault. They're a team. There's no iron team. There's no one person above the team. This is what Dwight Smith is failing to realize. Okay? Because I'm a former athlete myself. When one person loses, the whole team loses. And take responsibility for the actions. Okay? So just as like, what was it like, Doug Christie missed that field goal? The whole team lost. Including him. You can't just blame that on Doug Christie. Yeah. It's Jim Kelly's fault. Just like it's Andre Reed's fault. It's Thurman Thomas's fault. It's Bruce Smith's fault. Right? Daryl Talley's fault is the whole team's fault, including the coaching staff, for losing those four Super Bowls. <laughs> and look, he's laughing too. That means he's high. Okay, that man is high as hell. And again, this is this is as bad as literally is pissed off. He's is anger at the same time, trying to be funny. Again, he's pissed off because the Buccaneers won't call him. The owner don't. Again, they don't owe you nothing. Okay. And he's mad because he's not getting no attention. That's just all it is. Sit up there laughing, but you're making yourself look stupid on camera. You make yourself look like a clown. Real oh boy, man. We so we 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 put we break stuff down like it's so small. Like this is the only reason that it happened. Like, come on, man. So the reason you guys won the Super Bowl. And by the way, the Bills was the only team that got blown out. Neither I could I could show you plenty of blowouts. In my Tom Brady videos, go. I'll show you. I think it gets uh when I respond to R.I.G. the chosen one. I'll show you how many blowouts there was. There's plenty of blowouts. Because those teams were just, those were bad matchups in the Super Bowl, okay? If the game is really scripted and rigged, those games would be a lot closer. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be seeing a whole lot of blowouts. We'd be seeing shootouts. Most of these Super Bowls would be going into overtime. But that's not the case. It wasn't because of your outstanding defense. It was because that's the way it was predetermined? That's what you're doing? Well, I mean, if our, if our defense was so outstanding, why we couldn't beat the Saints that year? Saints? Because maybe the Saints just had the better matchup, okay? Maybe because your team couldn't stop the run. Just, just watch this guy. Uh, just watch this guy talk. He just exposes himself every time. Do the twice. So why did the, the, the Oakland Raiders say we gonna go in with the Saints game plan? Because they had Deuce McCaffrey. They ran the ball down. Our That's because they don't have the same coaching staff. They don't have the same players. Okay, the Raiders are not gonna run the same thing. That the Saints are gonna run. Okay, because it's not that simple. It's not that easy, brother. He forgets that too, right? There's game film. It's not. It's not that. It's not that simple, dude. For one, the Raiders didn't have a Deuce McAllister on their team. Matter of fact, if you look at the Raiders, uh, the running backs they had, none of them was Deuce McAllister at all. Deuce McAllister was like a a, a pro bowler compared to what they had. Deuce McAllister was a, already a way better running back than than the running backs that was there. On that, on that, uh, that's that's another thing too, dude. You can't run the same type of playbook if you don't have the personnel to do it. Okay, this is not gonna work. It's not gonna be as effective. I throw. Why didn't they come in and say we gonna do the same thing? All right, D. <laughs> now no more word to talk. No, the radio host just made this guy look stupid on camera. I I'm serious. This guy just exposing himself more and more. You know what I'm saying? High on whichever stuff he's smoking. <laughs> well, we don't know what else to say. <laughs> we just caught off guard a little bit. That's they do know he's lying. They know he's he he's making a joke of himself. Lobo, of course, again, 
you in NFL breakdowns, of course y'all gonna say that he's lying because you you in with this on, uh, you're trying to make money, okay? You're, you're trying to scrutinize the league, but they made they embarrassing this guy on. They literally embarrass him. They make him out to be a clown, okay? Because it's stupid. This guy is exposing himself, okay? And, and for you to anybody to believe the white Smith, again, you're just a, you you that mean you need to be ashamed of yourself because this is, it don't make an ounce of sense. This guy's not making sense at all. Again. He's somebody that played all that time, right? His defense was top ranked, and yet you sitting there saying it's predetermined. So what does that say about the rest of your teammates? Maybe this is why nobody talks to this guy no more. Maybe this is why Rondé Barber, John Lynch, Warren Sapp, Booger McFarlane, maybe this is the reason why these guys don't like him because he's negative. Okay? He lives his life in negativity. That's a little bit, a little bit, honestly. Let's talk about uh, the fact that the Lions may... Actually, they know he is lying. That's why they they, they being sarcastic. Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders get back money, but they traded Matthew Stafford where he wanted to be. Yeah, well, hey, Barry Sanders didn't want to play for John Roth. Barry Sanders didn't didn't trade him. They didn't trade Barry Sanders. He retired. He just left. Barry Sanders just gave it up like Calvin Johnson. They just retired. They was never going to trade either one of them. Why would the Lions trade their best running back? The one who got them to the playoffs all them time. That didn't make sense at all. The Lions was never going to trade Calvin Johnson anyway. All right? Calvin Johnson might want to be traded, but again, man, Calvin Johnson just retired. Neither one of them, again, Barry Sanders, again, dude, this dude don't make sense. That's, that's, let's, not, that's, let's not talk about the real things, man. Let's just talk about that. I got you, man. I got you. Well, Barry Sanders didn't want to play for Bobby Ross, but that's that's another story for another day. Uh, so, him and Calvin Johnson both asked to be traded. They want for one, you can't compare Calvin Johnson's situation to Barry Sanders. Because Barry Sanders, when Barry Sanders was with the Lions... Right back in the 90s, the Lions was in the playoffs consistently in the early 90s. I believe from like 91 to like through like 98, they was in playoff games. Calvin Johnson didn't have the same team. All right? Calvin Johnson didn't have a Barry Sanders on his team. So this situation is not the same as Barry's at all, dude. The Lions main problem with Barry Sanders there, they didn't have a good enough defense. Yet they played against Washington in the NFC Championship game. Calvin Johnson's team never made an NFC Championship game appearance at all. So it's not the same thing, okay? That was two completely different eras, two completely different times, okay? When Calvin Johnson played, football was not even played the same way when Barry Sanders was playing. So I don't know why he would even bring those two situations up. Why would you even compare those two players? Fun to go somewhere where they could try to win. They, they made them retire and give some of their money back. All right, so... Actually, the Lions didn't make Calvin Johnson retire at all. He chose to retire on his own. Like Barry chose to retire his own. Those two could have left and went to another team. If they really wanted to win, they both could have left. They left Detroit. Barry Sanders could have left, retired, and came back out of retirement if that was really the case. Once again, this guy is high as hell. And you don't know what he's talking about. Same thing with Calvin Johnson, right? But Calvin Johnson had loyalty, right? But Calvin Johnson could have easily left Detroit. He could have easily went to Pittsburgh. He could have went to Baltimore. He could have went to New England. He could have went to Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. Right? He could have went to Seattle with um, Pete Carroll's football team. He could have went to Dallas. There are plenty of teams that was ready to sign Calvin Johnson. But Calvin Johnson decided to stay loyal and just retire. Okay? So if that was really the case, then why didn't Calvin Johnson go to a different football team when he when he announced retirement? Brett Favre announced retirement for the Green Packers, came back to the Jets, then went to the Vikings. So if that's the case, then why didn't Calvin Johnson take the Brett Favre route? If that's really the case, brother... So let's just, for just a second, I just want to get your thoughts on Patrick Mahomes and what he's done at his young age. It's great, man. I mean, look, the key for me with most teams is let, let's see how your team performs after your quarterback rookie contract kicks in. After, you know, he's off his rookie contract. So what do you think about Jameis Winston's time in Tampa Bay now that he's in New Orleans? Cause never his, watched, his, never liked it. Now, All right, so again, now this is what I mean by black or back disrespect. You praise Mahomes, the light skinned brother, but you say you don't like uh, you don't like Jameis Winston. What kind of a stuff is that? This is why brown skinned blacks and dark skinned blacks don't get along. Now you see why. Black on black violence. Again, what did Glass and Malone say in that song? Thugging? Brother versus brother. No hesitation when you face the same color, right? Now let's look at Jameis Winston's stats. Let's look at his very last year in Tampa Bay, because Jameis Winston is actually not that bad at all. Now, James Winston's obviously a humble brother, okay? But now, James Winston would have heard that interview 
and then decide to call Dwight Smith out on Twitter or whatever, they go back and forth, would he be in the room? Let's look at his stats, dude. Because the man is not that bad at all, dude. He's really not. Let's see. Let's look at his last year with the uh, with the Buccaneers. Look at 2019, right? Let's look at these stats. You said after their rookie years, right? Correct? Now, his rookie year was 2015, right? Look, 4,000 yards. Okay? He passed the following year, 2016, for another 4,000. Okay? Now, this was average. This was below average, right? But look at this. 2019, right? 5,000 yards. 33 touchdowns. Even though he threw for 30 interceptions, his rating was 84.3. So, Dwight Smith, what are you talking about? This man has had high ratings. Okay? I don't get this at all, dude. I don't. This is complete disrespect for another player, dude. James Winston don't have the same luck. He don't have the same team Mahomes has. Again, this was not fair to James Winston at all. James Winston deserves to be Tom Brady's backup. Look at that. 5,000 yards now. Matt Ryan won MVP off of 5,000 yards. Matt Ryan. The year he lost to uh, Tom Brady and Tom, the Patriots had that comeback win for being down 26 points. The man won the MVP off 5,000 yards. 33 touchdowns. His touchdowns outweigh his interceptions. So let's get that out the way now. Again, you just put down, you praise the light-skinned brother who's half-white, and you put down the dark-skinned brother who's straight black, dude. Again, we can't talk about race. Us as a society, we got to get it together. So again, young man, Rick, uh, young man, I hope you listen listening, brother, because this dude here is making a fool of himself. Because look at this, dude. Jameis Winston got the short end of the stick. Now, this year, he didn't hardly play. This don't count. This year, he's injured. But the reason why the five games they don't won is because of Jameis Winston. Now, Jameis Winston's out for the season, but the man was doing well for the Saints. Okay? But right here, bro, like, again, if Jameis Winston had the help they gave Tom Brady last year, maybe this would have been Jameis Winston. Maybe we would have had Jameis Winston and Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. Maybe Jameis Winston wouldn't have been able to go. Right? But this guy makes makes no sense at all. You, this is just this. That's just sad. Just say you didn't you didn't watch James Winston at all. But to say you don't like the brother, dude, like James Winston ain't never done anything to you at all. Like that's he's a former Buccaneer. James Winston's on the team when they was trash, dude. James Winston got those yards having nobody but Mike Evans on his team. Ronald Jones wasn't even there yet. They went through Todd Bowles got fired and then Coach Cuptar from Arizona State each got fired. Again, James Winston had to go through three different head coaches with Bruce Aarons. Okay, he didn't have have he didn't have no offensive line at all. Okay, them three interceptions was the fact that they didn't have no uh, no rusher. He had to keep throwing in the air because he had no running back to rely upon. Okay, he didn't have a, a Lee Sean McCoy. He didn't have a uh, a Leonard Fournette. Okay, they gave Brady the help he didn't have. He didn't have no Rob Gronkowski. Okay. So to say that about James Winston, that's completely unfair. It's, again, it's low down. They don't make a, that. That was just completely low. That was a low blow. That wasn't right to Mr. Winston at all, dude. It really was. Because even Patrick Mahomes, dude. Patrick Mahomes got Tyreek Hill. He got Travis Kelsey. The dude had Le'Veon Bell. The dude had Max Help. Even Lee Shaw McCoy the following year. Dude, you got Tyron Matthew. This dude loaded with help. James Winston don't have the same type of help Patrick Mahomes has. It's two completely different organizations. The Buccaneers before last year wasn't winning nothing. They went through years of disappointment, dude. Even after this guy left the team. Again, Dwight Smith makes absolutely zero sense. It's nonsense. I'm not going to call you a coon at all. But, bro, you doing exactly what these racist white folks want you to do. You just praise one black man but put down another black man. Just say you didn't watch James Winston at all. But don't say you don't like the dude. Because, again, James Winston don't deserve that type of hate. At all, you really don't. Back to what I was saying. The we watched the Seattle Seahawks be good until they paid Russell Wilson. We watched the Packers be good until they paid Russell Wilson. The Seattle Seahawks with the two Super Bowls in a row with the Legion of Boom, they won a ring. Okay, and even after they paid Russell Wilson, they were still contending in the playoffs. Except they started getting injured. Chris Avril injured, gone. Okay, Martellus Bennett, gone. Richard Sherman started picking up injuries. That's what broke up the Seattle Seahawks, right? That's what started messing up Russell Wilson's team. 
all these injuries and guys leaving. Okay? So, again, leave Russell Wilson's team out of it. Okay? Go to the Super Bowl till they pay Aaron Rodgers. The Eagles would win. Yet, Aaron Rodgers still has not made it to another Super Bowl since after 2011. After he beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Cowboys and he stayed in when Jerry Jones first had it um, presented and had it built, he didn't do nothing since then, so he's not the best team. The Packers are not the best NFL team at all. The Rams with golf. So, you, you, you know, you got... Again, now let me... Again, Lobo, this another... Bro, you another one that don't watch football. Baltimore gave Flacco that massive contract because he won them a Super Bowl ring. He beat the San Francisco 49ers that was led by Colin Kaepernick with Aspith Bench, right? A team that had Vernon Davis, Frank Gore, Justin and Pat Patrick Willis, Justin Smith, Deshaun Golston, Randy Moss. They beat that 49er team. They won a ring. He won in their second Super Bowl. So, of course, Joe Flacco deserved that contract. So why would you why would you even bring up Joe Flacco? Flacco got a Super Bowl ring at the end of the day, just like Trent Dilfer. Okay? And Dilfer was a former Buccaneer himself, which Dwight Smith's not going to bring up. But Trent Dilfer went to the uh, Baltimore Ravens in 2001 and blew out the New York Giants. Okay? So, no, the Giants wasn't always winning Super Bowls. The year they played against Trent Dilfer, the former Buccaneer, they got blown out completely by another top-tier top defense. Baltimore had a defense just like the Buccaneers had against the Raiders. Okay? No. Anytime you win your team a Super Bowl, you deserve a massive country, just like Mahomes had last year. So that's completely stupid, dude. Again, lo again, y'all need to just say y'all hate white people. Just say you hate white quarterbacks, cause that's again that make that's just, this is just that makes zero sense, dude. Stop trying to stereotype the league. Joe Flacco deserved that contract, okay? The pass that he connected with Jacoby Jones, he deserved that, because the Ravens was in complete control of that whole Super Bowl. Go back and go watch that Super Bowl, Lobo. Because you another one that don't watch these games. Okay? It's sad. Completely sad, dude. Okay? And again, dude, I gotta I gotta I gotta uh I gotta end this nonsense. Gotta try to do it while you on your rookie deal. Unless you Yeah, James Winston got stats that say he was he deserved his money. James Winston got stats to say he deserved to have been Tom Brady's backup. Okay? And Tom Brady has lost three Super Bowls already. He's not 10 and 0. If the game was really scripted, he would be 10-0 right now. The only player to win 10 Super Bowls in a row. he have the only player in NFL history with that record. That man would go down in history being undefeated. He would have topped the 72 Dolphins record if that was really scripted. You got Tom Brady as the quarterback. All right, so. Again, give Tom Brady his credit. This guy was drafted in the sixth round. Okay? When nobody else believed him. It's Max teams that's, that that's, that's regretting not taking him. Not drafting him like they should have been. Like the Bills, like the Lions, like the Jaguars, okay? The Tennessee Titans, all the, there's a gang of teams right now. There's at least 31 NFL teams that wish they would have drafted Tom Brady. <laughs> How do you see this game playing out? I guess it's, uh, you, it's, you already told us, right? It's just depending on what Vegas wants it to be, right? Yeah, the New England Rams game, 10-3, man. Who, who thought that was happening? All right, Dwight. No, that wasn't a boring Super Bowl. It's only boring because it's not a high-scoring game. That was a defensive game, dude. The Patriots wore the Rams out. The Rams, the Rams, and Patriots had the had the best defenses. That was just that's all it was. It was a defensive strategy. Again, Patriots was the veteran team. Okay, I give Sean McVay his credit, but again, dude, that was a defensive battle. Matter of fact, let's just, let's get to this too. Since you since you bringing that up, right? Let's hear it from this guy. Shouts out to Sports Wars. Let's see what he got to say. What's up, Sports Wars? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, look, I continue. I continue to hear people talk about the NFL being rigged and all of this nonsense. Stop. Stop. Okay? Please. If the NF uh, I I'm going to entertain your nonsense with some reality. Okay? If the NFL were rigged, Number one, New England wouldn't have won last night, but we also wouldn't have got what a lot of people are calling a boring game. Uh, it wasn't a boring game to me. I'm a football fan. I appreciate when it's offense or defense. Uh, when I hear people complaining about lack of offense, uh, that's the same as I as the, I judge those people the same way I judge a gamer when they complain because this game doesn't have great graphics. It's not good. Um, there is so much more to video games than graphics. Um... But a lot of people just get caught up on the flashiness. 
There's so much more to football than just scoring after score after score. You heard what you just said. It's more to football than just scoring. Again, Lobo, you sound like somebody that's just a casual, uh, you just a casual um, watcher. You don't really, um, you really understand the sport at all. And Rick NFL Breakdowns, again, this dude's finna refute everything you just said, your whole channel. This dude's finna refute everything you just saying. At least you trying to tell me to, to put into this counters all of that. Back and forth, back and forth. Those games are great. They're entertaining as hell. They're exciting. I'm not disputing that. But as a football fan, as a person that has watched football my entire life, the beauty of a defensive battle is just as good. It's just as good from a football perspective. So, but that's, that's irrelevant. Most people were saying they were bored with that game because you get a lot of casual people watching and all of that stuff, and that's fine. So most people are claiming they were bored with the game. And I'm going to say this too. Again, it comes down to skill, okay? Just like Dwight Smith, that was skill for him to get them two interceptions and take it to the house, okay? But see, he forgot that because that guy is high, right? And he's mad because he's not getting attention. But this man, this, this person right here that we're listening to right now, Again, he, he makes sense. Because I'm going to say this too, man. Patriots made better plays than the Rams. I'm going to say that now. Jared Goff had no response for that defense. Bill Belichick's a defensive-minded guy. I, I explained that earlier. The man been winning Super Bowl since 1986. That means he played against every offense there is you could think of, dude. Again, Bill Belichick out-coached Sean McVay. Give that man his credit. Give that man his just due. Tom Brady is the veteran quarterback. He's older than, than uh, Jerry Goff, so he made smarter plays. All New England did was wear the um, Rams out because they were inexperienced. The only veterans they had on that team was Akeem Talib and C.J. Anderson, but those guys are not even what they what they what they previously was. Okay. Yeah, C.J. Anderson and Akeem Talib they won a Super Bowl with Denver, but they time had passed since then. Okay, because C.J. Anderson got out of shape, he got kind of overweight, and Akeem Talib didn't have that same drive no more. He was an older guy by the time he played in that Super Bowl. But even uh, even then, dude, that was a that was a, that was a, that was a, that was still competitive. It was a defensive battle. Okay, defense wins championships. Y'all gotta understand that. Okay, and just because things didn't play out the way you want them to, don't make the game scripted. Okay, so if the NFL is rigged, why would we have not gotten a forty-five to forty-eight shootout last night? Why would we have gotten a score fest that would have sent the ratings to the roof? That would have gotten everybody excited. That would have gotten everybody talking. That would have that would have just been amazing for everybody. There would have been so much excitement. Brady would have broke records. Jared Goff would have broke records. You know, the NFL is all about offense right now anyway. They're trying to push the rules. They're trying to make the league more acceptable to offense. That's what they want. So why did we get a defensive battle that most people are claiming is boring, yet you want to say that the NFL is rigged? Also... Literally got the worst matchup we could have gotten. If you look back at the AFC Championship game and the NFC Championship game, of all the scenarios that we could have gotten, this was the worst scenario. It just was. I mean, the Patriots are the Patriots. That's fine. The best scenario would have been Tom Brady versus Drew Brees. That would have been the best case scenario because it would have been legend versus legend. And the NFL could have milked the hell out of that. Also, not very, like, this is almost just as good. Kansas City versus L.A. would have been magic. If you remember that game several weeks ago with L.A. and Kansas City, that was an all-timer as far as offense goes. That was amazing. Glued to my television watching that game. In Again, that's the game that everybody actually had um, going. Okay, um, if y'all saw the Rams and the um, Chiefs, that one game, again, that was the highest scoring game in NFL history. Now, that was the two picks the majority of people actually had going in. They thought it was going to be the Rams and the Chiefs. That's a Super Bowl the majority of people in America and the world wanted to see. That wasn't the case because New England was just a better team. Okay? That, that's just, let's just call it for what it is. New England beat Kansas City in overtime. Okay? It went down to a coin toss. It could have went either way. All right? And when you flip a coin, 50% chance is going to be heads, 50% chance is going to go tails. Okay? So again, give Tom Brady his, his just due. Give Belichick his just credit. They built a dynasty team over there. But now that's over. The Patriots, you know, you don't see the Patriots at all. The Patriots didn't win it last year. They didn't, they didn't make the playoffs last year at all. Okay? So it's obviously not scripted. Okay?
incredible. And if they could have gotten that matchup and then talked about the rematch, they would have been hyping that game from several weeks ago for two weeks. Everybody would have been glued to the TV waiting for an offensive juggernaut. Then, on top of that, you could have gotten the great game with the offense and everything that this NFL wants. This is the future of the NFL. This is the future. Mahomes versus golf. This is the future. I mean, right now, Kansas City is going to go in next year probably being the favorites. So having L.A. versus Kansas City would have been amazing for the NFL. But we ended up with the worst matchup possible. And the ratings, the ratings told you that people didn't really care about this matchup. Pretty much everybody assumed New England was going to win. It was a home game for New England. So the whole NFL is rigged garbage. Stop. Just stop, okay? It, it's nonsense. It's so stupid. So please stop with that bullshit because literally everything that the NFL wanted didn't happen. Okay, they would have rather L.A. won this uh, Super Bowl because L.A. is a market they have tried and tried to get into. They have tried, and they have tried to break through. Literally would have been perfect to have Sean McVay and Jared Goff and Aaron Donald to become the new faces of the league within L.A. and taking down the mighty Patriots. That would have been the perfect scenario for them, but it didn't happen. And Los Angeles pretty much got embarrassed. And Jared Goff looked terrified. The man looked like a deer in headlights in that game. I already told you, you go and look at that whole Super Bowl, again, he had no response for that defense. Because that's the defense he was used to playing against. Again, New England had veterans, okay? They was able to hang with those younger guys. Rams was a young team. Almost completely young team. So you got to understand that. Right? Cooper Cup, Ty Higby, Ty Gurley at the time, those guys were young. Aaron Donald was young, okay? Robbie Goldman was young, dude. Like, these are young guys. But I give Rams their credit. They beat the Saints, okay? And even then, Drew Brees had a chance, just like Brady. He got the ball back in overtime. What happened? He got picked off. He got he intercepted the ball. So, again, put the blame on the players. Vegas ain't had nothing to do with this because Vegas going to give the money to somebody who actually bet. You forget, man. There are people betting on these teams, just as you make a bet on one team, there's somebody betting on the opposite team. But you don't bring up the person who just who bet against you neither. I know it's that too. Y'all don't mention the people that's betting against you. So no, if you, if you want to blame, if you if you look at that Vegas, you should not be betting at all. You should not be putting money into none of these spreads if you're talking about Vegas and blaming Vegas for your problems. You got no business gambling. A lot of y'all need to stop gambling and spend your money on something else. Don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't lose money like that. Terrified. He looked scared to death to be in that moment. New England just made him look bad. Bill Belichick made him look really, really bad. So stop with the NFL is rigged bullshit. It's not true. It's such nonsense. And you're making yourself look dumb when you're saying it because there are obvious things to prove you wrong. So stop. All right. Anyway, other than that, I got a lot more videos coming your way. Pat's going to be here. Roy's going to be here. We got a lot of stuff. So, bro, with that being said, dude, again, dude, this takes off all of this, dude. And you say, so this, this is nothing you said, too, right? Let's just get back to everything you said, bro, because I'm finna refute this because you, you sound, you look stupid. This is why I call you dumb, dude. So I guess to you, these former players who live the NFL life and are in circles, I don't know why you're bringing up circles, right? We'll never see come close to as viewers are dumb as hell as well. I'm not saying every view is dumb. I'm saying you're dumb. Okay? Again, you didn't dress nothing, bro. Like, you just made your... I just made you look stupid in this entire video. I just made you look dumb, right? So, let me let me see. Um, I'm going to address one more other issue, dude. And you say, how am I scamming people by sharing opinion? I gamble on the NFL as well, knowing it's rigged. That's how I gain an edge on Vegas. Bro, you nobody gains an edge on Vegas because you got people. Vegas goes by the odds, and Vegas has goes by people that put money. Just as you betting on one team, there's another person bet, uh, betting against you. By betting heavy on the Patriots going over 7.5 wins for 100 odds when they started 2-4 and four because I knew it was in the books for them to have a great season. They were the Dolphins only when I believe during the... The first six weeks of the season, but that didn't matter to me. 
Nothing that happens on the field matters. Bro, okay, if nothing happens on the on the field, then why do people lose? Okay, I've seen this happen before, dude. I seen this happen before, dude. You 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 say this the NFL screening rate, but then you lose the majority of the time. Again, bro, most of the channels I responded to on my channel, I crushed a lot of people. Most of them end up being false. They lost the majority of their time. Bro, I don't believe you winning these odds at all. You ain't not. Because if you was really winning a thousand dollars, you wouldn't be on here making these videos. And he then I never said a former player's opinion is fact, but they know shooting good. You taking his everything as factual opinion, dude. You recorded Dwight Smith, so you mean you taking it at face value, okay? And you gonna say we shouldn't be ignorant to think your opinion means more than theirs on a game they played for years. It's at least supporting evidence to Michael. No, it's not supporting claims. He just made himself look like a clown again, bro. I just showed you, he made himself look like a clown on on that radio show, dude. You are taking it at face value because you're saying the league is scripted and rigged. You making your whole channel is based on scrutinizing the league. Okay. So I'm just again, dude. I'm just responding to what you what you're saying, dude. And dude, I didn't. I'm not making multiple videos on you. Dude. I'm just making this. This is just the second video I'm gonna make on you. Because, again, you look dumb. You're looking like somebody that's clearly making these things up. You need to stop, dude. Okay, stop wasting your time. Because anybody that gives you money, bro, they're going to have, again, dude, they're going to get their, their channels taken away. Now, look at this guy. Say, he said, if WZ was scripted, then why did they won't see him punk the guy who exposed inaccuracies to come back? It's because the fans and the talent have a relationship called heat. If a wrestler wants heat, he or she needs to deny the script they're given. So, like I said, even he's making sense in a little bit. But again, bro, I only got to look at this video, dude. Because I just showed you evidence that you don't make sense at all, dude. And that's why I have to come at you, dude. Right? I got I to gotta, I have to expose you, dude. Okay? Because again, bro, you're not making an ounce of sense at all, dude. Like, it's, it's, it's just sad, dude. It really is, man. It's a waste of time, dude. Dude, you, you, you got your whole channel is based on just scrutinizing this league. And this guy looks retarded. So now you know, bro. Okay? And again, I'm not trying to start beef with you, bro. bro but it's like, we need to have a conversation. Because, matter of fact, what's your Instagram, matter of fact? Since you say you went to most of these games, I want to see your I want to see your Instagram. I want to see your Facebook, too, man. That's, that's what I need to see, dude. Because, again, you're not... You, you, you're somebody that sounds like a hater. You're, like, you're mad at the NFL. You're mad at Bill Belichick for whichever reason. Okay, and I know you and you want to talk about me again, bro. Like, you sound like somebody that's lost money. You sound like you don't even got no business gambling at all, dude. Because you got a whole Patreon trying to make money off the NFL. Okay, so again, I don't know how you could talk about me. You you and accuse me of coming at you, but look, bro, everything you doing is like, come on, dude. Like, man, let's just be honest, dude. You sound dumb. So I have to do this, bro, because I've I've seen this happen before. So to the people watching this this video, and I thank you for watching the whole video. Don't don't look at this guy at all. Don't believe anything this guy says about football, okay? Because this whole channel is based on is based on scrutinizing league. You want to say the league is rigged, right? The refs is doing this and that and the other, but you're trying to get money from it. That don't make an ounce of sense at all, dude. It doesn't, right? Cause my thing is, if you making if you making all this money, dude, then where is your sponsorships? And you tag these fans, right? See, this is why most NFL fans will not wake up. Like, come on, dude, why don't don't attack the fans? You sound like somebody that's mad. He's losing money. We were six and one in MLB. Come on now, don't do this. This is all trap. Cause if anything, you could just easily made all this stuff up, dude. I'm not, I'm not I'm not falling for it. Like, come on now, you're going at the MLB, you're going at the NFL, dude. Like, come on now, dude. If you give this guy money, you're stupid. Okay, you're dumb. This guy, and I'm going to tell you this right now. There are people out here, there are sharks. There are people that really, who bet for real who would love to challenge this guy. If he wasn't, if you was to go to Vegas, young man, you won't get your money taken. You fresh meat to a lot of people who do this for real. 
And on my channel, I got magazines. I read. I don't take nobody's word for it. I'm somebody, if I don't understand what you're saying, I'm going to go back and backtrack what you're saying. That's why you pissed off right now. That's why you're mad at me. Okay? But anyways, y'all, that's the video. But again, young man, you need, to, you need to stop doing what you're doing. Because if somebody that represents the NFL wants to see your videos, you can get this whole channel taken down. And you begging for it. So don't get mad at me when I'm trying to tell you to stop doing videos on nonsense. And yet you saying what I'm doing is a waste of time responding to you. Your whole channel is a waste of time. Because all you're doing is going to... You're going to get a whole lot of people broke. Right? You're going to scam a whole... You're, you're going to scam a whole lot of people. Because you want people to put money... You want people to trust you, right? You're saying everything's predetermined. And what you going to do if you lose money? That needs to be the question. Right? Because if you lose money, you can't blame Vegas at all. Okay? You can't blame Vegas if you're going to put... If you're going to bet money on a certain team. And not blame the players. All right? Like, come on now, dude. Even my Cowboys. I don't, I'm a Cowboys fan, but I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming um that one call with that uh, Chris Goodman did against us. That offers a pass of friends. I'm not blaming that. I know our kicker missed two field goals while we lost that game. The Cowboys should be nine and three right now. They should be nine and three, but they lost to the Broncos. They lost to the Raiders. So I'm t I'm putting the blame on the um uh, I'm putting the blame on the Cowboys. This game was definitely not rigged. Kyle Shanahan didn't run the football. Okay, you're up 26 points, run the football. He did not. He put too much faith in Julio Jones, and that didn't work out at all. He did exactly what he did tonight. He did the exact same thing. Okay, see, brother, if you really watch football like you say you do, okay, and I'm just, I'm, again, bro, I'm calling you out. If you really say watch football like you say you do, bro, then, again, man, you wouldn't be making these, these videos. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be doing this at all. This is why I'm coming at you. Because you're not making sense at all, dude. I, I, I can't I can't get down with this. Now, this is what you said, too. It's like, you go on a page under undefeated season. Hey, it's your boy, ZTR. And I know it's every year now. I got to prove to people. Let, let me just. Stupid. I got to prove to my. Let me, let me just read this real quick, bro. Before we get. Before I'm done, right? You saying, bro, you're going over the pages undefeated season. Saying, I didn't know all this happened. Doesn't mean anything. Because I do. I do know about all of this. I used to be an NFL fan. Now, you're an NFL fan if you go to these games, so stop lying. You say, I didn't know the Cardinals were in the Super Bowl back then, but I remember when Holmes had that tiptoe catch like yesterday in 100, and the 100-yard 100 pick six. That might be one of my favorite games I watched, and I was never a Steelers fan, far from one. All right, so this, this is what's going to make you stupid, right? You going on a patient schedule, and the Pro Bowls they beat has zero value. Again, dude, disrespect. Dude, they beat some top tier guys. They beat some of the Pro Bowls they beat were Hall of Fame players. Go back and look how many Pro Bowls in that 2007 season, dude. Go look at that schedule, dude. Go look at how many Pro Bowlers was that that made it to Hawaii that year. The Patriots season was not easy. Okay? Teams like the Ravens was not gonna be easy. The Jets was not gonna be easy with Darrell Reeves. Okay? It wasn't gonna be easy at all. Alright? So how would the Pro Bowls they beat has zero value in the discussion? No, dude, again, you sound like a hater, dude. You sound like somebody that's mad you losing money and you want to take your anger out on them. Come on now. Let's just be honest. Even against the, the Eagles, you took the Patriots and lost. That's why you said that he uh that Bill Belichick lost that Super Bowl on purpose. Because you mad you lost. Come on now. Call it for what let's, let's, let's call let's let's call let's call it for what it is, bro. Look, I got four likes, so I must be doing something right. There's four people that like this video, dude. Like, come on now, man. I'm not trying to cap or nothing. But this is stupid, dude. And you say you're not disrespecting these these um, these um players? You said that the Patriots schedule and the Pro Bowls they beat has zero value in this discussion? That's disrespectful. Because those players were not going to be... That was not going to be an easy task at all. Okay? So, again, you just made your whole self look stupid with these videos. You're reaching big time. Because you're trying to get attention. You're trying to hustle like everybody else. I understand it. But again, there's plenty of other things you, you can talk about. But that's it. I'm done. Like, subscribe, comment if you feel like. And again, bro, I would love to have a conversation with you. I'm dead serious, man. Right? You can inbox me. You can email me. Bro, my Instagram is at ZReels. Okay? Z-R-E-E-L-S. Bro, send me a DM. Let's go live. Let's have a debate, matter of fact. Right? I want to see your face. And that's another thing, too. Before I continue, never trust nobody that don't even show their face. Bro, that's the reason why you don't show your face, because you're, you're, you're probably a coward. 
You don't want nobody to identify you, dude. Because these bitches right here, the NFL could come after you for this. I'm just telling you this now. Like you said, you doing you using copyrighted material and you're using it against these players. Right? You don't want none of these players you're talking about to actually come at you. Like this guy here, right? You got this guy getting the ball stripped away from right? You don't want Deshaun Jackson to come at you. That's why you're doing it. That's why you're hiding your face. That's a real scammer. Y'all, most scammers are not going to show their true identity at all. I'm going to tell you that now. At least Lobo shows his face. Right? At least RFG the Chosen One, Zachary K. Hubbard, Bobby Brazard, Cut Cast Productions, and even um, Warrior Truth, all the channels I responded to, at least they had to know to show they, at least they showed their face. They wasn't cows like that. They was ready for the smoke, okay? They went down fighting for what they believe in, right? And they lost, even though they lost, right? They still went down fighting for what they believe in. This guy here, bro, you don't even show your face. So how you how you expect me to take, how you calling me an idiot, right? How you expect anybody to take you seriously? You don't even show your real face because where you got to hide? I'm serious, man. Where, where is your face right now unless you don't want nobody to identify you? You don't want none of these athletes to come at you, right? Come on now. That's a real scammer, okay? Because, matter of fact, let's look at your Patreon, right? Let's take, a, let's take a look at your Patreon. Let's go back to your Patreon, bro, because why are you using the NFL logo? Unless, again, you trying to use them to make money because you're not, you can't create your own logo. I know it's that. You, 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 you're, not, you're not that creative to create your own logo. That's what I'm saying. You're somebody that don't understand what you're doing. Again, this is not an investment at all, Okay? Bro, you, 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 this is not a real investment. Okay, because if you was really in investments, you wouldn't be doing this, what you're doing. You're trying to get attention. You're trying to get money. I understand it, right? Let's say these 103 patrons, if they lose money, then what you going to do? Okay? If you and, and you're doing crypto. And that's another thing. I'm going to tell you all this right now. Watch these people that do crypto. Okay? Watch them that do crypto, dude. Because there's people that are hacking people's accounts. Promoting their crypto. My little brother just got hacked. His account hacked by somebody that tried to get me to um, come and do Bitcoin. Do crypto, dude. Watch these people that are doing crypto. Because this guy could be a scam artist. He could be a hacker, dude. Again, I'm not taking you seriously at all. Bro, so just cut it out. Because you say you went to these games, but then why are you doing all these videos trying to accuse the league of being scripted real? You obviously don't know the truth at all. You haven't talked to no real athletes. Okay. No, if you try to eat with this dude, you're, again, you, you, you're you setting yourself up for failure. So, bro, I got to warn your subscribers right now. I got to warn them not to get into this, okay? Because this is this is crazy. This is sad, all right? But, but I like videos like yours because it proves me right, okay? I like proving y'all wrong. So when the season ends and it blows up in your face, because if Tom Brady loses this year in the playoffs, bro, I'm coming right back to you, okay? I'm warning you right now ahead of time. If you lose, bro, and you better hope I don't find you on Instagram either, because I'm going to DM you, or I'm coming, right? Because now the battle is set. The battle is set right now, dude. You better hope, you better pray hope he actually does win it, because if he doesn't, bro, I'm coming back to the channel, I'm going to really, you, you better, you better, you might as well just, if Tom Brady loses in the playoffs, because even now, he could, there's a chance he don't, he don't got to make the playoffs. If he loses in the first round to Arizona, my Cowboys, or the Packers, any team like that, bro, you better head for the hills. You better delete this channel. I'm telling you that right now. You better, you better high tell it out of here while you still can. Cause you gonna be in a you gonna be in a roll of trouble, bro. You finna be embarrassed. I can't wait till he loses. I want matter of fact, dude, like I'm, I'm challenging you right now. He's not winning eight. He's not gonna win more than seven Super Bowls. That's it for him. He's gonna lose this year. I'm telling you that right now. That's it, y'all.